Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Night here at Heavy Cardboard. I am your host, Edward. Happy to be joined locally by three, remotely by one, those folks. I'm Felix. Alyssa. James. And Martin. All right. So uh, we've done this as a test stream for the patrons previously, uh, a few weeks, month ago or so. And what that is, is 18xx.games. If you are unfamiliar, it is a online implementation of, I don't know, how many, Alyssa? A lot. Yep. Yeah, 70 70-ish. 70-ish uh, different 18xx titles. So you can play it async, you can play it uh, real-time. We're playing it real-time, obviously. And we're doing this for two reasons. One, we want to be able to include Alyssa and keep her a part of the group because... We miss Alyssa. And number two, this is also hopefully going to be able to facilitate our ability to stream more 18xx games for y'all. So the feedback is going to be paramount for all of y'all uh, letting us know, is this something you want to see more of in the future? With that said, we have been playing the hell out of 1862, designed by Mike Hutton, published by GMT Games. And, and by we, I mean four of us have. And then there's... Martin. Martin, this is going to be his first play of 1862, so we're throwing him to the wolves, but this should be a good time, I think, even so. I am going to do a about half of the teach front end, and the reason is because I am a uh, type of person that likes to show examples, and I don't know that I can show examples real well uh with the map as it is so with that said i will i will give a good overview and teach about half the game and then we'll talk about the rest when we get there uh that makes sense to everybody that worked for you martin yep that works for me all right so uh without further ado um local folk all, all y'all well okay players how's that are y'all ready ready we are all right <laughs> so hopefully everybody at home is ready as well. All right, so this is the implementation. This is 1862, uh, specifically in 18xx.games. It's free to sign up. You go, you make an account, the whole nine yards there. And as you can see, it's going to have all these tabs along the top. All right, so uh, first off, here's the map. It, it's, it's a very small map. If you've watched any of our other 1862 streams, the ones that James and I did solo, the ones I've done solo, the one we did multiplayer with Alyssa before she, uh, before she skedaddled. Um, this is, this is uh, basically everything that is there just in computer form. So we have the map there. We have a 2D market, and this will populate automatically when we acquire companies and the start companies and all nine yards this is going to be all of our info uh, for the different companies that you can see there so sir felix cat that'd be me callistus callistus that is uh felix uh mountain hawk that is Alyssa. js3b is james and martin is martin so there we go all right then over on this screen, we're gonna be bouncing between all these screens all night. But these, it's going to have a chat or a running, I guess, uh, action tracker right there. So as you can see here, uh, what, uh, what companies were automatically removed from the game uh, that is randomly done. And then these are the various companies that we can start at the beginning of the game that you can see. So the NGC, the ECR, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So how is it that 1862 plays? Well, 1862 has a certain size of a bank, but that's almost never going to come into play. The game is going, the game is going to play 
over just like most 18xx games there's going to be a uh, stock round followed by some number of operating rounds however before the stock round there is going to be one or two i guess two parliament uh, rounds the difference between a parliament round and a stock round effectively is going to be a parliament round is strictly for starting companies starting companies with full capitalization all right so with that said parliament Full cap, if you start a company in the stock round, that is going to be a partial capitalization company. The majority of the companies will be full cap, meaning they will start in the parliament round. Some other differences on this. You will see that it says here that it is 50% 50 to float a company. A president's share is three shares. So when you say, I'm going to start a company, you're actually buying three shares so 30% of 100% of a company, as opposed to the traditional 20% or two shares. So whenever you set the par price, keep that in mind, it's going to be triple is what you're uh, on the hook for, so to speak. And Alyssa, remind me of what those multiples are for setting the par prices. Do you have that committed to memory? I do not. I think it's one. It's... 162, uh, so if, let, me, let me go ahead and talk about the market then, I guess. Uh, so here, the stuff that you see here in yellow, that is where the full capitalization companies will start. That is their par price, and it will be triple whatever that is for the president's share. The right. partial cap companies, the ones that you may start in a stock round, can start at... Uh, all of the, I guess, beige color there, the 56 up to 200. Uh, yeah, all right. So now, parliament rounds. Parliament rounds are going to start to where you, whoever the player is, and the player order in our game is going to go left to right, so it's going to start with me, Andy, with Martin. You may uh, choose to put one of these up for auction, just like in a regular 18xx uh in a sense that the private companies but these are for the uh privilege of starting that company one player will win the auction once you pass it's a hard pass when you win the auction you are now uh, on the hook to float that company before the end of the stock round East, uh, which means you're going to be on the hook for 50%. Do your math accordingly. Once the uh, parliament round ends, it will end when all players successively pass and choose not to open a company or choose to open another company. When you, uh, when you win an auction in the parliament round to start a company, you automatic, you cannot start a bid for a second company in that parliament round. However, you can partake in the auction that another player starts. Once all of us choose to not start an auction, we all pass successively. Then we go into a second parliament round where now everybody can start a second company if they so desire. Once we all choose to pass or, or eventually all of us will pass in the second parliament round, it enters a stock round. Stock round, you buy shares just like normal. You may sell shares just like normal uh, with a couple of caveats. We'll talk about that when we actually get into the game. And then just like a normal stock round, when the stock round ends, priority will be to the left of the player who last took an action. Then we go in operating order, just like in a normal 18XX. And then those companies will operate. Now, I haven't talked about kind of the biggest thing about this game, which is there are each company has the up. Each company is going to be tied to a certain type of permit. There are three types of permits in this game. There are local permits, meaning that company may operate only local trains. Uh, there are express permits, again, can only operate express. And there are freights, freight companies. Uh, you can only uh, operate freight companies. 
what is the difference between these three companies? I'm going to superficially discuss them, and then we will talk about them more in detail once we get started. A local train uh, company, or a, lo a, tr a company that can operate local trains, the local trains may never uh, go to a port, which are any of the blue off-board locations that I'm showing you there. They also can never go to any red off-board locations. A local uh, train will have some number, so say a two local will hit two major cities, and then it, they will also include every doink, dit, whistle stop, town, whatever you want to call it, that they hit in between. A route always must start at a city and end in a city. It can never stop or start at a doink. A local can hit every single unlimited number of doinks between the number of stops that it's allowed to hit. And then uh, after a company uh, runs all its trains, does it withhold or does it pay out? Just like normal. However, with a local train, in addition to the revenue that it will generate, it's going to generate $10 for every hex. Yes, for every hex on its route. And that money is separate from the revenue that will go strictly into the company coffers. 100%. So that money is automatically withheld, and then it's a question of whether you pay out or withhold. An express train works just like your typical normal uh, 18xx train in that the number it is. So if it's a five train, you hit five cities. You skip all whistle stops, but you may hit off board to off board, you, or you may hit port to off board. You cannot hit port to port uh, or off board to off board, I believe, correct? Yep. Okay. Uh, so that's an express train, then pay out or withhold. A freight train. A freight train talks about hex edges. So if it's a three uh, freight train, then it will come from whatever it starts. It can hit ports, can hit off-board locations. It is crossing hex edges. Pays out, withholds. In addition to the money, it's going to get an extra $20 for every hex that it touches. For, let me rephrase that. A freight train counts the starting hex and the ending hex, and then $20 per hex intervenes as the crow flies. Unless it hits a port, then it's $30 instead. There's also merging of the companies, which can take place when a company operates. They can merge as the very first step that they uh, take, or they can acquire a company the very last step. We'll talk about mergers per when we get there. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, I, the game ends when the LNER forms, which is after the first set of three operating rounds ends. I think I framed that right. Yes. Uh, there will be no Track lays, there will be no stations uh, laid at that point, and it is strictly you can buy trains and you run, and whoever has the most cash wins. There's more to it, but I think that's enough to get started. Martin, any questions? I'm sure you have lots, but any, any of that? Too many. Okay, fair enough. The good news is you're, you're operating last, so that works out. All right? So, uh, also, you know. If anyone wants to give me advice on Slack, DM me and I'll happily listen. <laughs> uh, and right. just, just one clarification, Edward. Sure, go ahead, please. For the for the uncharted companies, yes, you can actually start in the yellow or the beige. Fair point. You are correct. Uh, one other thing that I want to point out is the uh, distinct number of stations that you get. A chartered company gets three stations, including its home station. An uncharted company will get two up to seven. You choose. And you pay for all your stations up front. 
So that comes out of, so if you were, for instance, to par a company at 54 and you flow uh, for a fully cap company, that means you would pay $162 for the first three shares. Then you would pay another 108 for the, la the other two shares. When it floats, the company will get $540, so 100% of its capitalization. However, less it is $60, uh, 70 Oh, shoot. 60 60 It's 60 per station. So you're going to get three stations. So you're going to get 540 into the company coffers minus 180 which is $360. That's it. That's what that company is going to get. Unless it's a local, it might get some extra revenue, and there's more details there, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. All right. And un uncharted companies... A 40 per token. Correct. When in doubt, start a charter company. That's that's probably the safest bet to go. All right? You're still glitching, Martin. Don't worry about it. All right. So, with that said, we're going to start the uh, parliament round. Over under glory to Rome's. Five and a half. <sighs> this is way harder to teach when you don't have the physical components in front of you. I'm just saying. It's way harder to <laughs> teach. All right, uh, before we actually start, since I guess it's me, I actually need to look at the map. So anything with a white border that you see, so the whistle, the WST, I think it's I, not L, but anyway. It is. That, the E and H, the NGC, the N and E, the ECR, the EUR, the ESR, oh wow, those are all yeah. the, and the LNH. <laughs> Those are all the companies that are currently available to start. The ones in a black border that you see, the WNF, or WNF the ENR, the LNE, the YNN, the Weaver, and the FDR, etc. Those are going to be available later on. Also, you'll notice that there are three different shapes. There are circles, there are diamonds, and there are hexes. And I'm going to try and remember what these are now. I think the hexes are freight. Hexes nope. are freight. Diamonds are local. And circles are express. Okay. And just remember that they change to circles once you buy them. So don't get confused. Okay. So circles are freight. No. Nope. Express. Hexes. Hexes, hexes freight. are freight. Hex right. Yes. I knew that. Diamonds are locals. And a girl's best friend. There's also that. All right. So what I'm doing currently is I'm looking around here and seeing what are the uh, companies that I think would be good to start. And feel free to chime in here. Uh, the EUR, I think, is a decent local um, because it can, the, it can go from Colchester, which is pronounced Smith, uh, up to Stowe Market, over to Framlingham. Woodbridge, it's got a bunch of whistle stops there, and it also has the one in Tiptree. One thing I want to point out is interesting about this distribution is there are four locals darting, which I think means there's only one local to come. So like all the locals are here in the beginning. Okay, good to know. Yeah, because the ECR is also a local, which is less good. Uh, maybe it's got those two. It's got Great Dunmow and was it Royston? And then the NGC over at Newmarket. Okay, so those are the locals. They are all close together, so maybe the locals all work together to make an awesome local empire, but I don't know. I mean, I, sure. <laughs> yes, we're all known for being friendly and working together nicely. Uh, well, two of you are. I'm looking at the... Still at salty the, about your local empire from a couple games ago. I'm looking at the circles, which those are, we said, those are express. Mm -hmm. There is no great expresses. Now, London down here in the red area, this whole down that area... Uh, that is London in lieu of Tracklays. 
Uh, you may token London, and then you can run to London. Otherwise, you can't run to London. Um, I don't see anything that's super great there. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't love any of these companies. Yeah, this should be interesting. Okay. And for the freights, which are hexes. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. The whistle has got Midlands to the port pretty No, it doesn't, because it can't token Kings Lynn. Because the uh, LNH is going to start. Right, right there is what we're talking about, right there at Kings Lynn. So, okay. Uh, so with that said, I am going to uh, put a bid in to start a company. And I am going to... Put a bid in on the EUR. So I am a, a valid bid is zero in this game. And again, this is the parliament round that we're starting. And this is for the privilege. And also the guarantee. If you cannot float the company that you have started in the parliament round, you're just screwed. Don't ever do that. So make sure that like whatever you are committed to, you have to. You are on the hook. Um, so I think, you know what? I'm going to start that at five. I have placed a bid. So now, and you can see in the chat, Sir Felix auctions the EUR for five quid. So now it goes clockwise or in left to right order. And it also is going to be in order of our cameras here. Uh, so Felix, your option, you can either up the bid or pass. I think I will pass. Okay, so he passes. I will, bid ten. I will bid 10. James. This is not terrible, but I don't know that I want to dart first. So maybe I'll just wait and see. Okay, and now Martin, you can either up the bid, either to 15 or something unreasonably higher, uh, or, or pass. Well, for my first ever action on 18xx games, I will pass. All right. Uh, I think 10 was my limit, so I will go ahead and pass as well. And now you see that it jumps straight to Alyssa. And now, Alyssa, talk through what you're doing. Go for it. All right, so now I have to set the par. And essentially what I'm trying to do is decide, you know, what, what do I want to what do I want to par this at? How much money do I want to get into this company? Um. It is and going where do you to, want it to uh, it is, operate in relation right. to the other companies that are going to start? Right. We are. I have to be able to buy five shares or else I failed my obligation. And, and as we discussed, that would be bad. I think the penalty is you pay, you've had to find a way to pay that money anyway, and then you don't actually get the company either. Exactly. So in and other so, words, you're it's just not great. Yeah, don't yeah. do that. And so it's where do I want to start? I cannot start a second company in a five-player game. We only start with with uh, 480 uh, pounds, and to start a, a second and to start one company, it is 270. Um, even if you bid zero, so two companies require is 540. I cannot start a second company, so I can put in as much money as I want here, and I think I will start it at. Started at 90. Uh, no, I started at 82. <laughs> All right, so you'll notice it just populated there at 82. So we come in here and now taking a look, and I'm go this is going to go slow for the very first parliament round uh, for Martin's sake as well as for everybody at home. So it's 20% to float. The reason it's 20% because Alyssa just bought the president's share, which is 30%. So she is required to. You'll notice that it says that the IPO has seven shares remaining. Uh, Alyssa has three shares and that a star signifies that she is the president. It shows what the price to purchase is there, uh, the par price and what permits it has. Okay, and, and there we go. So now we come back to this. And I, have, I still have the option to buy two more shares to meet my obligation. Yes. Which I will do. There, there's, 
I, I guess theoretically reason to not do that. I guess. Possibly. I don't know. I but yeah, normally, especially in the first round, if you win something in the parliament round, you're gonna just go ahead and buy all five shares. All right, uh, you'll notice that Alyssa bought the company, even though it was me that started it, and now the turn goes to James. And the last thing I'm going to say, one really nice thing about 18xx.games is 99% of the time the rules are in force. There are rare occasions. I haven't encountered that in 62. I don't think any of us have. Uh, so it also helps teach you it in that regard as well. So with that said, James, ball's yours. Why did it come to me? Because Alyssa won and it Keeps it's going from there. from there. Yeah, yeah. Normally, normally, I would get to bid, but I don't have the money to do it, so I'm force pass. I wanted to. Why didn't Felix get to open a company? I'm not ready. Um, huh. Well, the question always is: Do I want to start a company that I want to win, or that I want to lose, and have somebody else get out of the way? And I never know what the right answer is there. Um, so with EUR down there going early, the NGC is a possibility to try and connect towards it, make something happen. Um, LNH at a high par isn't awful. I really do want to get my hands on a local. I never end up with locals and I always regret it. So I feel like I've got to get a local. Hmm. So maybe I go for a local. If I gotta get a local, just get a local. Okay. Let's try. Let's try and get a local NGC. All right. So the NGC is right there for a local. Okay. Martin? I'll pass. Uh, now, every move I've done on 18xx game is a pass. <laughs> um, yes. Do I want to? And if so, what direction does it go? That's there, there's that. One, two. Uh, one other thing that I did not mention is when a company operates, it gets to lay two yellows or one upgrade or one N, as in November. So you'll see that the EUR, when it lays its home station, its home track, that's an N tile. So it's only going to get to lay one track whereas the ngc is going to be able to lay two it's going to be able to lay its home station or home track and then realistically one of royston or grun great Dunmau. uh Dunmau. <sighs> yeah i hate all these companies um don't buy any then just pass yeah I what like could possibly go wrong? There you go. I bid 10. Okay, Oof. And now notice it automatically skipped over Alyssa. And the reason for that is she does not have the capital in which to... Meet, uh, to Is it by the president's share or meet the obligation? I forget which it is. By the, by the president. It says it in the chat. Okay. You have to have... Your oh, minimum bid go. plus three times the minimum par. There you go. So it still allows you to kill yourself. The rules allow you to do something dumb, yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Cool. There we go. Uh, yeah. So I, I'm i willing to stay in it because I think the other locals are a little bit worse. So, Edward, do you want to go up or you want to drop out? No, it's yours. I pass. It's yours. Take it. Oh, exciting. 
Did I want that? I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You're stuck with it. I'm stuck with it. So now I have to par it. Yep. Um, and I don't want to just do what Alyssa does, although that's usually the right answer. So what if I did... What if I do 74 to see, then I can buy an extra share of this if I want, if it looks like it's going to be good, or I can buy something from someone else. And then I will buy, and then I will buy. Okie dokies. Okay. All right, so 74, all right. And now to James's right, if you will, clockwise around the table. Uh, Martin, you're up. Oh my god. So you two have both built locals. Yes. So I do not want to offer up a local. I want to do something different. So somebody suggested this Lynn and Hunterston railway. So what the hell? I live near Lynn. Lynn in Boston, in Massachusetts, of course. But <laughs> and I, I, whenever I go to Lynn, I get lost. There's something about Lynn that makes you lost. <laughs> Thankfully, with GPS, that's no longer the case. But it was always a nightmare. So but on that basis, I'm going to get lost in Lynn in, in Kings Lynn this time. That, uh, honestly, I think that is probably the best of what's left. Just surface level. I, I, I think so. I think that's the so right I'm choice. place a bid on the Lynn and Hunter stone. All right. I also will place a bid. I will up it to 10. Fail. Yes. I will pass because apparently that's what I do now. <laughs> You're okay. Oh, you're a stock round starter. You don't believe in parliaments. Um, last last two games I started in, in parliament. It just depends on what I see. All right, Martin, back to you. Well, nobody else has, has bought something for 15, so I'm going to put 15 down. I hate that. I really thought 10 would get it done. Um, I mean, I'm pretty well, sure. Well, you know, 15. 20, if it's worth 10, it's worth 20. We know this. It's true. Yeah, mm. I did. Thanks. Thanks for noticing. So that is an express. You know, hey, Martin, mm -hmm. I'm just saying we could work together, potentially. Uh, I'm, I'm always open to working together. Uh, you know, this last words. If you were to, so if you look at the map there, and you look mm -hmm. at where the LNH is, goes from the port for, to King's Lynn over to yep. was Beck, and then over to the Midlands. Just saying yep. that 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 benefits both both the the LNH and the whistle. And so with that said, I will pass. You will okay. both be tokened out until the green, don't forget. That's also true. That's right. Because every hex only has a single. That is a good point. Yeah, all right. But maybe he'll come south to the ENH and you can get a hex thing going. That that is Eventually. that is maybe. All right. So Martin now he has to set the par value. Okay. Complications. Well, to be fair. Uh, to make it easy, I think you can afford uh, looking at. So you started with 480. Uh, mm -hmm. You paid 15 for the yep. bid. You're down to 465. Uh, so 465 it, divided by five. Somebody do the math. Well, Martin, if you click on the company, so you have the par, par prices there, it'll show you how many shares you can buy. Ah, yeah. Ah, right. Okay. Right. So if you look, so that's right. when you click on it, it shows how many shares. So don't par it at 100. Yeah, don't par it at anything above 82, certainly. 82 is the maximum, it seems, to buy five shares. Now, don't I also have to buy permits or uh, not no, permits? It gets, um, it gets, uh, warranties? No. Warranties, that's you, it. You can, but the general, it comes with a warranty when you buy a two train. And we'll talk about warranties more, but really... The only thing that you might buy a warranties for are D trains. So you're not going to have to worry about it on the front end. Okay. And 
And you could you could go to ninety, Martin, if you wanted to, if you wanted yes. to operate oh, early. I could, yes. But you could, but in eighteen sixty two, you can also own all ten shares. So you could you could start at like you know sixty eight or or and get more money into the company. Well, probably not sixty eight, but you could start at like seventy two and own seven shares later. But so it's it's kind of a balance of which way you want to do. Yeah, and I have no real idea what the hell I'm doing, so I think what I'm going to do is go with 68. Seems reasonable. In honor of a 68 bus route, which was my... The bus route always was in front of the bus I wanted when I was living in London. All right, so now uh, you bought 30%. You can go ahead and buy the other 20% right now. And again, there's really... No reason Everybody else is done, so I might as well do that now. How yeah. do I do that? Just click on the company and it'll say buy IPO share underneath it. Oh, yes, there it is. I didn't, there's the only one I clicked on the company, but I could see how to do it. So that. you bought a fourth one and you can do it now to buy a fifth. You see how it's okay. There you go. Good. Excellent. I've finished buying additional shares. That was exciting. All right. I didn't pass. Ah, uh, man. You know. I think I will go ahead and offer up the E and H. And I'm going to put a bit of zero up there. So it goes to Felix. Zero. No, I'll pass. Uh, cheers. All right. So I want it. I will. Hmm. I'm thinking I don't mind parring this relatively high. So 82 operates second. Let's go ahead and go crazy and go ahead and part at 90. Um, and then I will buy another share. And then I will buy another share and done. And now, Felix, welcome to the game. Go for it. Floor hey, look at the game. Uh, no, but this is Parliament. So if I'm the last person to bid, I'm definitely starting on stock ground. Uh, so I'm going to pass. And I pass again, because there's two Parliament rounds. Yep, and now we're in a stock round. And I start, and as you all can see... I have 30 bucks to my name, so uh, you can pass or you can auto pass, and realistically, uh, nothing's going to change right now, so I'm just going to auto pass, and I'm just going to pass in perpetuity uh, unless something stupid happens. So now, Felix, go for it. Now I have to make a decision. Uh, so... There's more shares here that I can, which is a little confusing, but I think I want the ESR. And the question is, there's two options that I have here. I can par high um, and be flush full of money, but everybody else seems to have parred high, which scares me. Um, okay, I... I'm going to par it at 78. And note that he did so in the beige because this is a uh, non-chartered, meaning partial capitalization. I auto-passed because I do not have enough money to buy anybody. Right. James? I do have enough money to buy something, but I have no idea who's going to be successful in the track lane round, so I'll wait and see. You can always buy yourself. I don't know that I'm going to be successful in the track <laughs> lane round. Martin has cash. He's got 125 quid. Yeah, and I think I want to invest this. Yeah. I certainly don't want to invest it in myself because I know how competent I am at running trains. Fair. So given that, who do I invest with? Well, 
You're, um, you're going to only be able to buy one share no matter what you buy. Exactly. And obviously you everyone's wanna... going backwards in the first OR. So I don't know that... So. Oh, right, but the right, parliament yeah. shares don't get cheaper. Correct. Right. They're not market price. It's, it's always uh, par price for chartered companies. Oh, okay. So there's, there's no reason for me to wait for the next stock round. I, might, I can buy now, and that would make be, that would be reasonable. Or actually, would there be no benefit me? Because there's only going to be one operating round, and people are going backwards. So it's and there's no point see, me buying now. I should wait till later. And you can see how people, how the first right. OR lays, or, or, you know, runs out. So that's probably not the end of the world. The only the only one that would matter is if you bought the ESR because that is partial capped. Correct. So you so you'd be giving money to, for Felix to operate with. Money. Right. And then falling backwards. Yeah. Right. No, I think I'll pass. Oh, I thought I passed. Pass. There, there you go. go. Passed. And now something major has changed here uh, because the you can see that the ESR was parred. And so, therefore, it kicks me out of auto pass. But, okay, that's fine. I'm good with that. I can go back into auto pass now. I will buy my treasury share because I want to float it. Okay. And back Martin. I want to pass. And back to Felix. Back to treasury share. All right. So now. Now I have to decide how many tokens I'm going to buy. Correct. The rest of us, we got three because they're all chartered companies. Whereas Felix can choose two to seven and he pays 40 quid out of the company coffers. Also, the thing to note is, and then I will shut up and let uh, Felix do his thing. He parted at 78. He gets 50% of the company, uh, of the, uh, in the, into the treasury. So that's going to be half, uh, what is that, 390? Minus yep. whatever tokens he buys. All right. Felix, go for it. I'm going to buy three tokens at 120. And now I get one more, it looks like. I can buy one more thing. I have some money. I can buy my own. Um, and uh, But I have enough for my A-trains if I wanted them. And... Uh, if I bought two A trains, I'd have enough for that as well. So I don't think I need to buy mine yet. Uh, therefore, I'm going to go ahead and pass. All right. So now we are into the EO, uh, the operating round. So if you again, we're going to operate E and H, the EUR, then the ESR, NGC, LNH. Now, when we do so. Uh, a couple of things that are, I wanted to point out was you'll notice that on all the companies, it is uh, that shows their treasury. So I have 720, which is the 900 minus the three shares or the three tokens. And again, uh, Felix got 50% of the par price into the treasury and then everybody else got full cap all the way over. All right. All right. So with that said, you'll see here now, um, and I actually wanted to, I think it's in here. If not, I will go get it. The well, Let me remind you that you'll see now e &H is a circle, but you're still a freight train, so don't get confused. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I think it's on the player aid, and I didn't grab that. I will go get it for what the available or what all the steps are in a given round. To grab that. I will get it after. Oh, here it is. Found it. Step one, you can merge. I'm not actually in a position to merge, so it skips that. The second thing is lay track. And notice you could skip track, but no, we will go ahead and lay that. And now it's a matter of how do I want to go about doing this? How do I want to lay this track? And again, the what, uh, sorry, right there. Uh, the companies that started, the NGC did come out and that is a local. 
So the NGC wants to come this way. He is going to either come down to Dunmore and Royston. He's going to do something there. So the question is, I think what I want to do is I want to build up for sure. The question is, do I want to go straight down or do I want to come over to the side? And because it's a freight train, I want to get to the port in a perfect world. So the up is definitely makes sense. And I think the west is best early. So I think I'm going to go ahead and choose that Y and then oh, you just click on the hex and you'll notice that it keeps going around. Once you're happy with it, the positioning of it, you hit the check mark and now I've laid that track. The second, I get a second yellow because it's not an N. And um, I think going, I'm not going to be able to make the port this turn. So I think I will go ahead. Oh, I can't actually lay Cambridge. It's an N, right. So instead, I will go ahead and be friendly going up north there. And now um, you'll see that I can't, you always lay your home token for the first time a company operates. Notice I already have that down. And I can choose the token another if I wish to. I have three tokens all day. I don't, I think I'm gonna skip it. I choose not to. So now I would operate, but I have no train. So I'm going to go backwards. So if you look here, I have now moved backwards. The ENH has dropped um, because I did not pay out, i.e. operate. So now I have to buy trains. Uh, it is going to be a 1F. I can buy however many I want up to the company coffers. And I think going from here, that is across one hex edge, that is across two hex edges. So I think I would like to buy two. So I will buy, and notice I can buy locals and expresses. However, they're grayed out, meaning I can't operate them even if I'm allowed to buy them. So I will buy one. If I'm done, I hit done. I will buy a second. You'll see that uh, I have one freight. I have one freight. I'm done. I can buy warranties, which guarantees you to operate them one more time, or, but I like not to. I am done. The operating, uh, the operations of the ENH are now complete. The EUR up goes. All right, so I cannot merge, so I will lay track. My home tile is an N, so I'm only going to get to lay one of them. It looks like this. And I want to make it difficult for the Express to get to London. So I will lay it that way. Nothing else to token, so now I'm buying trains. And because I can only lay one, really only makes sense for me to buy one a train right now so that is what i'll do and i am done and on to felix i have only one i don't have a decision i just have to do that there's no other option right because it's an n and n's are only x's and you can't go across red edges literally it's a non-decision yeah so I am going to buy a single to E-Train and be done. And also for everybody at home, you'll notice two things. Uh, uh, who is that? Is that James with the NGC? Give me just one second. If you go to the info tile uh, tab here, you'll see that there are three of seven A-Trains left. And this will go down in real time, just like also. Um, when James goes through here, it will, when it comes up for him to buy trains, it will also show that there are three of seven left on the screen when he gets there as well. James, it's all yours. Alyssa, are we going to be friendly and uh, go through Sudbury to double dit great uh, Dunmow and Royston? If I start it, are you going to finish it? You need me to lay Sudbury through great Dunmow? Is that what you want? Yes. Yeah, I can do that. 
Can um, work? actually, I can't do that next turn. But you could lay it. Oh, because I was going to go up to Thedford. You were going to go straight north. Oh. But if you okay. lay, if you lay Newmarket and, and Royston, and then Great Dunbow and Sudbury, then we'll have that. Okay. All right. Yeah. I guess as long as you don't block Sudbury and do something. Yeah. No, scary. I'm not. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I mean, I want the. I want game. I want the dits at two, too, right? We're both locals, right. so... Right, yeah, win-win. All right, so then I will come... Not that one. Tight. To come down. Yes. There we go. So you see latest two tracks, and again, he's got the three A's. All right, so that'll be a two... So I'll definitely want the one two, which gets me to Sudbury, but a second two would get to Colchester. I can't count Sudbury twice, unlike many 18xxs. So that Correct. would be an extra 40 for a $100 train, which doesn't feel super great because maybe if I can get a two for three, then I could go through Colchester and up to Thereford also. So maybe I'll just buy the one and see what happens. That's probably dumb. But I don't mind being suboptimal. And so we can go in here. Even though it disappeared, we can now go and look. And there's two of seven, so we know that James only bought one. We also can see that it says uh, right here, buy trains, so that the NGC bought one. It would say it again if you bought another. So you can check it a few different ways to be able to give you some right, information. Right, and also on the... The Entities tab, you can see how much the trains every company has as well. Uh, I, have one to it. I believe you, I'm looking for, oh, right here, right. It shows 1F, 1F, so there's two freight trains there, a single express, single, single, you, you get the idea. All right, now, uh, the LNH, Martin, we will help you as much or as little as you wish, so... <laughs> I well, am happy to hold hands or happy to get shut up and get out of the way. So I get to lay two tiles, right? Uh, the, yes. Yeah. Uh, although you could, you'll be token down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, nobody bought the the whistle. Right. Right. So you so won't get a I could go. So I could take. A, I mean, if I'm going to have two. Hexes, it strikes me that where I want to go is from a port to the Midlands. Yep. Would seem like a good option. And so that's three hex edges, Martin, just to be clear. The LNH is an express. Oh, it is an express. It, so that would be express. four cities. So that would be four cities. So you would need two trains. Three trains. Uh, three trains. Uh, three, uh, I'd need a a free train to do the a full train to do the whole route, or a, but, uh, but well, it depends which way I go, right? Because I can go through Holbeach. Oh, Holbeach is still a stop, right? So, or did you say whistle stops didn't count for expresses? That's true. If you went through Holbeach, then you can do it with two twos. Yeah, so I could do it with two twos and then a, a three later or something. Um, but two twos would allow me to run both of those runs. Um. Right, but two twos. Oh so, yeah, so I'm thinking through, thinking through Hull Beach would make sense. Hull Beach to the port, and then do I buy two two trains or well, probably yeah, just buy two two trains. That's yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. So think let that, let's right. let's let's go with that then. So I need a. Oh, if I, can I get? Yeah, I can. I can do this one. And then, how do I turn it? Click on it? Oh, yeah, that's nice. And then click when I'm done. And then go whole beach. And does it matter whether I curve it or straight it? I don't think it matters. So I'm going to curve it because, you know, I like a little bit of curve on my trains. Um, and... That gets, so uh, that will get me um, that. 
And then train. So I want to buy a 2E, right? That's a A train. Two 2Es, two right? No, yep. uh, yeah. And then buy a second 2E, and that will allow me to run two twos. Okay. So there I am. I don't think I need anything else. So that means I'm done. And stuff happened. Yep, we're into another stock round. Well, technically into another parliament round. But none of us have enough money to do anything in parliament, so we all got force paths. So we're into a stock round. It is me. Yep. I have $60. That still doesn't buy me anything, so I will pass. Good James. All right, I can buy something. So it looks like I'll have an okay run. So buying me is fine. Although the L and H is going to be, what's that? 80, 30, and 40, 150. That's going to be more than me. And what's the L and H at? 68. It's going to pop back up. So the L and H seems not awful um buying the esr has the advantage of it's cheaper maybe and then it comes back up i don't know if it's a market price yet but it's not going to do anything interesting enh is going to make it to the west and get a 70 90 3150. I think the LH is going to have the winner of revenue. So let's just buy an LH. Hmm. So, who's going to. So, there's lots of people who are going to potentially do something here. Um. Um, it doesn't make sense to have some to buy someone close to me, like the uh, E and H, because they're kind of near me. Or is it better for me to probably doesn't being near probably doesn't make much difference. So I'm thinking I may want to um, head somewhere else. Remember, you can buy place? yourself too. Yeah, I kind of want to. I I, I kind of want to buy somebody somebody who's competent. Yeah, I think that would help. I mean, you're gonna have you the best. Agree. You're gonna have the best run this round. That's true, but well, maybe true. We'll see. Yeah, but I, I have no faith in my my long term abilities. So, I think I've got slightly better faith in somebody else's abilities. Well, so Felix and flip a coin. They're both they're both quite good long term bets. Yeah, but that's well, what I was thinking. Maybe long term, but short term, I am gonna have the worst company. Um, so I'm I'm thinking, even even though he ran off to Canada, I'm going to put my heart with Alyssa. So I'm going to buy a share of EUR, and there we are. Edward. Not that I'm sure not showing any faith in you, I'm just showing more faith in Alyssa. It's not quite the same thing. Uh, sorry, uh, I got sidetracked on something. Um, all right, so I have no cash still, so I'm just perma-passing. Uh, Martin doesn't trust himself, but I trust him. You must be playing some very complicated, clever game, Felix. <laughs> Back to Martin. I haven't got enough money to buy another one, have I? You can sell, I think, probably. Oh, well. I see. Yeah, so I'll pass that then. I'm not, I'm not going to buy a share just to immediately sell it. That seems a little bit strange. And, and you can't actually sell shares you bought this round in 62. Okay, even more yeah. reason not to be able to sell a share. <laughs> So I could sell one of my ESRs, and it wouldn't be awful. Um, 
I don't think so. I think I'll be okay. I think I'm going to sell one ESR and buy another Martin. Wow. We'll see. I always try new things, and sometimes they bite me. Sometimes they don't. Back to James. Well, the nice thing about me is that I'm always trying new things. Yeah, if we're going to keep doing this, though, we got to find a way to get Edward to rename his account. I can't have Felix and Sir Felix Cat in the same game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Martin, you're you're up. Oh, I am. I I did a fit auto yeah, pass because there was a stock sale. It cleared our auto passes if you had been auto passing. Yep. Okay. And back to me. Same deal. Okay, I have thirty bucks. I don't want to sell another share. That seems one too many. So I will pass. All right, Edward. All right. So that did not go how I wanted. So because, I mean, obviously Martin did as he did up north. So I will go ahead and lay the end track. So, oh, sorry. There we go. There. And we're good to go. And now do I want to token this is the question. I don't really, oh, actually I have to. I have to token uh, Cambridge, so I will go ahead and token it there. And the reason is, because now I am going to operate, you'll see a one freight, and that is a hex side. Every one of your trains must intersect and one of your trains must include the home station. So starting from my home station there on the Y, that one F is going to run from my home station to Cambridge. And then the other train is going to run from Cambridge over to the West. Yeah. Oh, and then here is from Cambridge to the West. Sorry. There. To the Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, is that correct? Does that look right? Yes. All right. So now let me show my math. A freight company, also freight trains work a little bit differently in that freight trains, if they are non-permanents, count as all your non-permanents count as one big train. So that is effectively a two freight train. So it goes from Eli across that hex edge through Cambridge to the hex edge on the west. And it's a freight train, so it counts the starting hex and the ending hex. So that's going to be 30 for the Y. It's going to be uh, 70 for the west. So that's going to be 100 and then 20 for every intervening hex, which is all of one. So that's why it says it's going to be 120. Now, when that happens, I hit submit 120, and now I have to choose. Do I pay out? And if so, the treasury gets no money, but it's $12 a share, and the stock will move one to the right. So if you look here in the market, it is, if you pay out at least the revenue of what your company, uh, what the current value is, it moves up one jump, it can go up to four jumps. So if you quadruple. So as it is, I am going to go ahead and pay that out there. And now do I want to buy any trains? So you'll see that all the A's are obviously gone. I could buy a two freight and the two freight. So I am currently running that on the ones and then the two freight would be from there. It would be across there and then across there. And when we get to... The green is, you'll see that when we go into B's, that's going to be green tiles. So I think that seems like a pretty decent thing to do. You look, the company coffers have 520 bucks. I will go ahead and purchase one. The question is, do I wish to buy any others? I cannot, I'm train locked. I have three trains. So 
I am done buying trains. That is me. It is now the EUR. You're up. All right. Because Edward bought a, a B, we're in green, so I could theoretically upgrade my own. But if I did that, I would have no... Oh, I would actually have a route, but it wouldn't be a great one. I am going to just do... Uh, how do I want to do this? You want to go up and then come back around, right? And we'll make a little new market circle, a little uh, little subway loop. If you go Watton, Brandon, and down to St. Burry with the next one. I was thinking to do a Brandon Watton so I could get out uh, all in New, new Washington and also hit it in. It's a little better for you. It makes it a little harder for me to join the party, but that's all right. Not really. Cool. Well, I mean, it's an extra revenue stop for me, but that's, yeah, it's all good. I'll do that. And then I will just run the obvious here, which is Colchester up to Thedford. Because I'm a local, that's going to run for 80. And, but the treasury gets 30 because I hit three hexes as well. The market is 74, the market price. So I will move one right when I pay out and now do I want to train and I think that answer is yes had Edward not bought a uh, B I would consider not buying it just to make it so that the next person couldn't upgrade to green but at this point that has passed so I will grab a, uh, a B train and it is on to James all right, so as previously discussed, I want to complete the connection. So I will I will do that. And I will run my one train and I will pay it out and I will also buy a second train uh, oh exciting now I have the option to acquire someone else's company that's not gonna happen because we're connected we are but you want to merge Alyssa I would prefer not to thank you okay kind of you to offer though <laughs> I, I'm going to go ahead, even though it helps everybody, and I hate it, I help helping everybody, but upgrading Colchester is the right thing. Yes, it is. Then I'm going to token it. Even though I'm not entirely sure that I need to, but I am anyway. Uh, and then I have a run of 80. Oh, sorry, a run of 100, which is nice. And it also pays out 50 to the company, which gives me just enough money to buy a second train like I planned it. Mm-hmm. Oh, right, because Treasury pays the company for the, for the unchartered. Yeah. For, I always forget that. You're going to acquire anybody? Oh, I have to pass. LNH. Okay, so it's I still get to lay two tiles theoretically, but no, because you have no, you can't. They're dead ends. I can upgrade. Yeah. I can yeah. upgrade Kings one. Lynn, right? And yes, then, you can oh, upgrade that count one. Both? Oh, I, I can only upgrade one if I'm upgrading. Okay, you're right. Well, that's straightforward. So, which way to upgrade? Well, it's, it seems like the good thing to do would be to upgrade 
pointing down to Downham Market, and then I would buy a free train, and then I've got to run from Kingsley into Downham Market to Ely, in addition to my 2-2 trains, which feels too good to be true, but I suppose that I'll soon find out why that's a bad idea, so I might as well just do it. So I am going to lay that track. So for everybody the at next... home, are you able to follow along? Is this, ma is this clear? Is this making sense? Go ahead, Martin. And then the next thing is, do I want to drop a token somewhere? Um, I think I'm okay for the moment. For what it's worth, my, my, intent, my, my intention is to drop a token in King's, line, King's Lynn. Like, I'm, I, I could have already done that in Downham Market, and I chose not to. So if we play nice, I'm yeah, you know I'm, I'm not not averse to that, and there may be other expansion possibilities later. But who sure. knows? I'm, yeah. I know what I'm doing anyway. So I'm not going to token. Um, I'm going to stick with where right we are. The only thing that I will say is you're running uh, a couple of things before you decide to or not to token. Is uh, every company or I'm sorry every train must intersect you do not get to count the same revenue source across multiple trains which is different than most 18xx oh, so okay ha and every train must include a station okay so if i do do the free train i'm st i can still run from king's lynn to ely but i'm not going to get the king's lynn amount again correct but if, if I tokened in down a market, for instance, or even Cambridge, can I token in Cambridge? No, I, no, no, you're tokened out in Ely. Because I'm tokened out of Ely. So Ely. I can't run okay. through Ely anyway to Cambridge. So, so you could, um, for what it's worth, it doesn't hurt me uh, by tokening down a market if, because I can upgrade it and it will go to a second. Right. And so at, at some future point, I might want to upgrade Ely. Yes. And then um pop, pop a token in there to to get a bit of flexibility on that run if I, that's what i wanted to do okay but i don't think i want a token at this point then um and i'll just accept the fact my down and market ely run is not going to be quite as lucrative as i hoped it would be but that's okay i'm still learning well um, one, thing, one thing to know is that uh people generally token quite freely in this game not not saying that you may or may not want to in this particular case just because unlike other 18xx's tokening is free or you already paid for it right yeah i get that Ad. i'm just thinking i uh I'm, I'm thinking i might do better with tokens later on particularly if i upgrade Ely and then token it there that feels like it's going to be a better thing to do Oop. um so i'm gonna skip the tokening um, and then, uh, now I've got to go through, okay, how this route stuff goes. So I select a train. I can auto route. Oh yes, auto. <coughs> um, okay. Yep. That sounds good. So I just submit on that and does those two routes. So I think I did the right thing there. And I want to, and the tra train buying occurs after this, right? And so I pay yes. out. Yep, yep, yep. I definitely want to pay out. I do not want to withhold. And, and then I can buy a train. train. And notice, uh, Martin, that it's a 2-3-E, meaning you hit three cities, count two of them. Uh, okay. But I still think I want to buy another train. So I'm going to do that. And I'm done. The two three isn't painful because it has to intersect. It's a free intersect, yeah. It has to intersect anyway. That's not going to count that right, other one. Right, so. exactly. Right. So that's the double double counting of the uh, of Kings right. Lynn, i.e., that's the one you're not counting, right? So yeah. Yep. The tokening. All right. Oh, uh, Martin. Now, do you wish to acquire another company? The answer is no. Uh, not until you have right. a second company. Right. There you okay. go. No, I don't. Sorry, I uh, I didn't notice that. All it's good. Another bit All good. That's why. To. All good. Yep. <laughs> the tokening sounds like an 18xx horror movie. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, so we are in a parliament round, starting with Alyssa. Oh, that's have, done. Oh, I'm, I, I'm behind. So if you see, it says parliament round right there, but you notice none of us have the money to do that. So it just skipped us all, and now we're in the stock round. Apologies. Sorry. We are, and so I need to pick up one more share or something. I th think I will just grab my own while I can. I'll show people that afterwards. Okay. To, and to James. Right. I mean, I think Martin did great. I think Martin's going to do greater now that he's got another train. James, do you mind uh, taking, a, uh, like I'm looking at the spreadsheet now. Do you want to, do you want to show folks that you want to walk us through why you said he did great, etc.? Are you comfortable with that? Why don't you that? take it? Okay, all right. You I just it. didn't want to step on you. All right. Um, so if you look, the now we're on the uh, on the spreadsheet tab. So the five companies that are currently active, one for each of us, are the ones that are lightened in color down here. And uh, so you can see that the OR history, you can see what everybody ran for. So you can see that Martin, the LNH, ran for 170 whereas the ENH ran for 120, 100, 80, 80, respectively, for all those companies. You also see that all of the players right there across the top right there, it shows the cash on hand showing right through there. It shows the value, uh, meaning basically who's winning right now, which it shows Martin is, is in the lead currently, and then uh, liquidity, which, Alyssa, you want to unpack the liquidity for me? Liquidity is essentially how much can you, if you had to sell, all, if you sold all the shares you're legally allowed to sell, how much cash would you have? Because you can generally, sell 100%. That's right. You can sell it's, down. Yeah, it's not so much, it's not as meaningful in 62, but in other games, it'll tell you if you need to emergency buy a train, can you? Okay, got <laughs> so, it. So. That's the right. Example. In this case, it's showing Alyssa that since you bought a share this turn, you can't sell it. So your liquidity is lower than your value. Ah, Correct. there you go. Right there. That's the difference between hers. That Good call. Thanks. Um, and then it shows how many shares we all own and the certs. Certs being different. Certs are pieces of paper. Shares are president's share is three, even though it's one piece of paper. So there we go. Also, if you notice here, it shows how every company, uh, how, how much revenue they have generated um, every, every uh, OR here as well. So anyway, so with that said, that's why when James was saying, wow, Martin ran for pretty good right there. And then uh, even, even, uh, there we go. Uh, ah, shoot. There, I clicked on, let me go back to this so when p this happens to somebody, I clicked on the 2-1 on the history, on the 170, and that brings you to that point in the game and shows what happened, how he got that money. When that happens, you're like, oh no, what did I do? You go here to the current action, you go to the end, and hey, now we're back to current and you see that it's Martin's turn. So James, I assume, went ahead and bought that. Yeah, I bought the LNH. I think, you know, I'm going to make more money this turn, but I think Martin's going to make even more money, so I want a share of it. So we'll see. All right. So, Martin, hmm. you're up. Yeah. Wow. Am I over-explaining this, yes. Martin, on your end? No, not at all. It's, okay, this is uh, very good to have some uh, degree of uh, explanation on this. Cool. That works. Um, because I uh, don't know what I'm doing, so it's good to have some sense of what I'm doing. Sure. Okay, so someone is people are buying my stuff, which you know makes me wonder maybe I should buy some of my stuff. Of course, <laughs> if I start buying my stuff, then people will sell my stuff. But you and know, again, you I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm pretty good at the moment, so I might I might buy some of my own stuff. You're not capping. You're doing so good. Sure. Right, and the IPO is under the market, so it's immediate profit in addition to yep. the revenue profit. So I'm going to buy my final share. 
uh, final share. I think that's the last one that's available, right? Yeah, no, the company. There, it, uh, yes, it out. is. You're right. Because if you look over here, it shows that Martin owns six, Felix owns two, James owns two. So, you know what I'm not doing? Buying that. In like, 62, sold out companies don't move up, though, right? Right. Nope. They do not. Oh. Um. You know what? I'm pretty happy with the way that went. I, I'm okay with, with just buying my own. Uh, so you see, I can buy in share or I can sell up to everything. Start another company. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm just going to go and buy my own. I'm good with that. I'm done. Felix? Yeah. So I'm doing some math here, and my company still sucks. So instead, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and buy Alyssa's company, which is the EUR. Give me one of those. Give me one. Alyssa. And I'm only calling out names so we don't, yep. like, I'm miss. Passing. That's it. All right. I have only 16 bucks. So I don't want to sell anything, so nope. Martin? So I have exactly 68 bucks, which is exactly the share price of the linen Hundredstead Railway, if there are any shares left. But since there aren't, I'll pass. There's nothing else I could buy. I pass, Felix. I will pass as well. All right. So now, all right. Now, for the first time, you see that I can theoretically merge because the ENH has physic. Oh, sorry. Has physically attached to another company like it it, it, it has met the lnh 99.9 .9 of the time i imagine the only time uh you will only merge with your own companies so that's not gonna happen but just pointing out that's why that's available because they have to they have to have met for that to have happened so i will i will pass on the option and now lane track uh I mean, it makes sense to go ahead and upgrade my home because that's going to be uh, the end for coming from, oh, actually it will not. So I have a two, so I have a four freight currently. So it's going to start here at the port. So in the water, crossing that hex edge is one, crossing two, crossing three, crossing four and ending in Cambridge. And that would go from 80, or that'd be 80 for that, and 40 for Cambridge for 120. And then you'll notice as the crow flies, how many, how many intervening hexes are there? There's three. One, which is Ely, is that how you say it? Yeah. Uh, Downton Ely. Market and King's Lynn. That's three hexes. And because I included a port in that run, that's going to be 30 per hex, so 90. 90 plus the 40, uh, that's 210 is what this is going to run for. So in hindsight, probably should have bought another two. I'm, I can't, I'm train locked, never mind. So the question is, should I upgrade my town, my home? And the answer is no, I should upgrade Cambridge because that's going to be the end uh, of my route. So I will upgrade Cambridge. And you see that the reason I was going through that is I realized I was going to do the wrong one. So with that said, I will, I don't need to token. Yeah, if I don't need to, I don't think I, hmm. is anybody, hmm. and I'm operating first, aren't I? I am, and there's, hmm. <laughs> think so, but I'm going to go ahead and token it anyways. Again, we paid for all our tokens up front, so you, the, it's not affecting the company treasury in any way. It's just I want to make sure that I'm not getting tokened out or anything clear, anything wonky. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear. And now, uh, again, it should go from the port to Cambridge, so I'm just going to hit auto and see what it says. Hear them first. I thought I, oh, I have to clear all of them. Okay, cool. Oh, clear all. There we go. Auto. 
Mm, I don't see that that worked. That's fine. So here, the one F is going to go from the port to there. This F is, and again, you see it says at least one root must include the home token. Okay, so I'm going to go from there to there. And then this one is going to go from there to there to there. So there's my route, 230, which I think is what I said, right? Oh no, I said two, uh, 240, it, it went up. Cambridge because I upgraded it. So uh, I'm happy with that. Is that is that good to go? Am I am I correct in this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, just making sure. All right. Uh, there and and it will move two to the right if I pay it. I or I could withhold. I will go ahead and pay that bad boy. I cannot buy any trains because I am train locked, so I will. Done. And now the difference between uh, acquiring or merging and acquiring, merging happens the very first step in an operation of a company. More often than not, it's going to behoove you to do it at the very end and you wanna do it at the end of the second company so that you're not losing the operating round. Because if you merge a company at the beginning and that company hasn't operated, it won't operate because it will go away. So. Now I get another, uh, I get an opportunity to acquire a company, uh, which is effectively the same as merging just at the end, but I obviously only have one, so I pass. Done, I will shut up for the next hour now. EUR, you're up. And to be fair, you could buy a train. It just, you just can't buy another freight train. I can't, I can't buy a train I can use, correct. So I have two choices here. I can lay the Brandon Wadden in pre uh, preparation for next time. Or I can just upgrade New Market to be s selfish and get a little extra cash. And I th think that's the better choice. So we'll do that. Kaladin on chat says there should be an option to vote for, quote, I tried 18xx, but I'm not 100% sure convinced by it. So that's fair. And then th we have a, a uh, viewer named not sure, which is really funny. And so mm -hmm. now I have an extra train that I still run my Thedford to Colchester for 100 but I have a 2-3 that can now hit Sudbury, Great Dunmo, Royston, and Newmarket for an extra 90. So it, I hit one nine, I have 190 of revenue. I also have, I also hit seven hexes, so the company is gonna get 70 in subsidy. And so I can pay it out for $19 a share and also to Stock don't, bumps. Don't click it yet. I just wanted to point out, you'll see uh, Alyssa pointed out that she mentioned the subsidy, the $70. That's automatically going into the treasury right there. And so that's different than the per share because that is the subsidy and not the revenue. So, okay, right. you, go you ahead. Can never, you can never pay out the subsidy. It has to go to the company. Exactly. There you go. And so we will pay that out, get the two bumps. And now the question is, do I want another train? I am $40 short of being funny. And rusting everybody's A's. And I don't think I want a second B. So we were going to skip trains. And see, I would have loved that because my company ran and with the A's and nobody else's would, but alas. Alas. Oh, actually, I'd be train locked anyway, so I can't buy a fourth local. So I wouldn't be able to do it. All right, James, you're up. Yeah. So I feel like I want to do a strange thing with my track lay, which I can't imagine will be successful. But I'm just going to do it anyways. 
It seems bad, but say lovey. Let's just be weird. Interesting. Okay. So then, do I? I guess I need to be getting through. I have made this such that Sudbury is important. So I guess I'm done in Sudbury. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you, you token, if you token there, then I have to upgrade it next time. Instead of laying Brandon Burry. I'm just saying. That is correct, because she's she's tokened out then. Yeah. She can't get through Sudbury. Click. 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 Too much. There is an undo button, by the way. Um, somebody, where is the undo? Oh, it's right. Oh, right. it's Joe. Okay. It's actually right by Alyssa's shoulder. <laughs> you can, you can just barely make it out. It's right there. So I apologize. It's, it's, it's covered, but that's the one you see flickering right there. That's an undo button if you ever need to. Right, I think I have 190, so let's see, this is all I do, right? That's the 2 train, and then that's the 1, 2, James, that's 3 enormous. train, and that's better than 1, yeah, that's not going anywhere. Right, so let's do, let's do that, and let's also pay out for the 2 bumps so again yeah a 70 dollar subsidy as well for james's and i i mean i would like a c if you had bought a b i would have bought the c but i don't i don't want the b i don't want to I mean, be stuck not, with the b we're not playing but friendly can, anymore so we're still friendly no you token sudbury we are no longer friends. Oh, I didn't realize that was that was on the table. Because uh, I could have totally laid Brandon and Barry next round, and then you could have upgraded the one above Colchester. We'd had a nice little circle, but... Oh, dang. That's not what I wanted. Um, <laughs> I mean, I tried to... I, I couldn't have made it any clearer. There's an undo button. Like, you... I, I tried. Yeah. I tried. No, it's 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 got it's got to play like this. It's more fun. Than people. J James James and I hated each other last night, and now and now Alyssa and James James just going nightly. Just who do I piss off tonight? <laughs> it's not how I choose my moves. Come on. Um, I know. I'm just ooh. messing. I. You know what? Let's just buy the B. Whatever. Oh, Whatever. excellent. I support this. Wow. Okay. Buying buying two Bs always works well in 1862. <laughs> Don't worry, James. <laughs> There's going to be some interesting things happening. All right. So it's me, and I'm not going to merge because nobody's going to accept it. And and real quick, you'll notice that when the Caesar uh, bought the A's rust, right there, just pointing that yeah. out. Go ahead, Felix. Continue. Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and head over towards London because the, it's the obvious long-term move and the obvious short-term move was go to my hometown, Felixstowe. I don't think that's how you say it, but that's hey, Go with it. Uh, and I'm going to skip my token because I have one token left and I know where I wanted to go. Um, <coughs> London. So, yeah. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and lay down this track going to the water. Um, and uh, submit that for 190 and 95 treasury which is going to be problematic in the future when I run out of trains but what are you going to do? Good trains and also here uh, 
you see that there is a share that can be redeemed by the ESR because it is a non-charter company and it is, who sold it? I missed that. I sold it. Okay. All right. So we could, the company can redeem it for can, the 90? I can buy it back. I just, it feels that I would run out of, I would have way too little money if I did that. So I'm going to go ahead and skip. This might be a mistake. All right. Go on. All right, LNH, and before you start, Martin, um, mm -hmm. just the, now feels like a good time to point out that unlike any other game that I have played, at least, 18xx, you really, really don't want to be caught trainless. So, um... <sighs> I've got the free E, but won't rust, right? I, I understood. Oh. I'm just mentioning okay. that there, is, there are uh, serious ramifications, which I will explain later, when you get trainless. So you want to, uh, when you're talking about buying D trains, because those aren't permanent, um, and warranties and all that, so that's when we're going to start. And, and you might want to withhold, you start w withholding a little bit earlier than you would normally think to do potentially that's all okay okay I, I i thought i was always told that you should never ever withhold in 18xx yeah 62 is a little different yeah it is okay, okay. i mean essentially, essentially what will happen martin if you can't afford a train is your all your shares in that company will get cut in half the, right the the way to avoid it is to merge yes no, so when so. you start a second company which we're all going right. to be doing relatively soon I still right. don't. I still don't believe run, uh, withholding for non permanent is worth it, but could be. All right. So Martin, take it away. Okay. So, well, with that in mind, my thinking of on the map was to upgrade Ely and token in Cambridge, which I still think is a reasonable um, strategy. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's move over to the game tab. Um, game tab, map tab. The game tab, and then you can pass because you're not going to merge. Oh, right. I was trying to think, where is the map? Because <laughs> I've got to do that pass thing. Okay, that makes sense. All good. Okay, and then hit Ely. And then decide what shape of green do I want. So I'm actually only interested in Ely just to open it up for uh, so that I can get my uh, routing through there. Mm -hmm. Where might I want to go other than that? It's an interesting question. Up to the Midlands, perhaps, or down towards... I could go down towards Newmarket. Yeah, I'm the fine other, when you mark it. the other really uh, thing to be aware of, which might be a bridge too far for you tonight, is if you look over on the tiles sheet, you'll notice that the towns never intersect. So, or they they will never branch at towns. So the reason I'm pointing that out is if you look at New Market. And you see the way they've laid the track in Royston and Great Dun Dunmow. Um, Great Dunmow, yep. Yeah. Uh, those will never intersect to go down. Um, I think Royston can get down to Bishops, but the other one is going to be pretty. Yeah, you can go through Cambridge, through Royston to Bishops. Uh, Bishop Stolten. That to London. You you're not yep. you, you're going to be hard pressed to be able to do it through Newmarket. Right. So just yeah, I just, think I'm going to still connect to Newmarket. I all think good, it, no, all good. actually no. I'm feeling that no. I think I don't want to connect to Newmarket. I'm going to pick one of the other tiles and send it off. Maybe to hmm, maybe even up to 
What's that place? Um, God, come on. Yeah, I can't tell. Yeah. So that would be... Oh no, that tile does not exist, does it? Oh yeah, I can't do the tile I'm thinking of. So in which case... Either heading towards... Um, let me get my map picture here. So I have a head towards Bury St Edmunds, if only okay. because I get the chance to tell you all how to pronounce it, um, or, or uh, up towards Brandon. And But if, if they are going to loop around from Brandon, it may not be so... Uh, yeah, what the hell? I'm spending too long thinking. We'll, uh, we'll do that one. And I'll take that. Um, and then now I can token and I will token in Cambridge. And now I select my routes. Yep. And um, I think I can. Oh, those routes. Oh, no, the 2E route has selected something I didn't want. No, the 2 3 is fine. 2E is C4, B3, A4. B4. So it keeps the same route that you had previously, right? And then okay, now, that's what I want. Then yeah. okay, then now you just select the two slash three e, and then like I imagine going from up. Kings Lynn down Downton Market or down a market to Ely and uh, Cambridge. No, surely uh, I'm better going to the west. Is they it have all to of your trains have to be contiguous. Oh, I didn't realize yeah. that. Yeah, you're still good, Martin, but you, you're going to have to run King's Lynn to Ely for yes. this one. Yep. Okay. And you won't count okay, King's Lynn Okay, because I thought second. I'd be able to run the west to Ely. Okay, because I've got a station in Cambridge. Right. No. So they have to all be contiguous. Okay. I didn't realize and that, you but must that's fine. Hit your home. Yeah, and okay. I think it's. Yeah, you still can't get to the west if you change the one running from Midlands, though. I think you're better off. No, because no, it would run Kingsland to Downham and then Downham to Cambridge. And I don't think that's better. One, two... Can't one, reach it. One, two... One, one two... Yeah, one, it's... Two. It, I mean, Midlands... Not in, in hit the port. Right. And I mean, isn't the most right. Cambridge... 60 and Midlands is only 40 though. Oh, that's true, Martin. So it's probably better to run to get rid of your red train and run that Kingsland to. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Kingsland to Downham and then run the last one Downham to Cambridge because Cambridge is worth more than the Midlands because yeah. nobody's bought a C yet, right? Correct. Okay. So clear all. Sure. So I'll do one train from. How does this work? From uh, King's Lynn to the port. Okay, and so you have a train port, from. Kick, you you yeah. got it. Okay, go ahead. King's Lynn to Downham. And then use the two to three train to run Ely. Uh, from Downham to Ely. To Cambridge. To, whoops. Come on. Yep. Forget the port. Remove the King's Lynn to port and go Cambridge to west. No, 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 no it's we're, still, we're still in the first one. So the... Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Nobody's bought any C yet. So I'm trying to... How do I do this? Yeah, sometimes it gets weird with the okay. clicking, but just uh, keep at it. It'll eventually take it. Maybe clear it and try again. Okay, so there I seem to, seem to have it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it says route has too many stops. So, if you want, hit clear all. No, because I need a four to go from Downham to... You can't I go to the west. You got to stop at Cambridge. Yes, yeah, so I have to stop at Cambridge. Quite right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. There we go. But that's still better. Still better than going to the Midlands. Yes, because the Midlands are forty. Is it forty or ninety? Forty. It's we're forty. Ninety is in C. It's oh, no, I see. So green. even though it's gone green, you don't advance on the correct. Uh, thing. Not until the C, and that's what that's what she's saying exactly. Yeah. 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 It's a, it's A C E. Okay. So submit that. Sorry about all of that. That's okay. And now 
What do you want to do? Oh, do I follow the usual rule and pay out anyway? Yes. Or do I try and withhold? It's triple a triple jump. jump. It's a triple, triple jump. jump. Pay out. Yeah. And you can't okay. buy a train. I can't, I can't afford to buy a train. And even if you could, you're train locked. That's true too. And I will not try and acquire a company. All right. Obvious reason. So now we are in the second OR. I am not going to merge. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? I. Martin I mean, now twenty ahead. I He's can clean it up. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I can lay track. We're still in green. I could upgrade any of the yellows, but honestly, I'm going to start looking ahead a little bit. Ah, it's a freight. That's not what I'm going to want. I could. That Diamonds are locals, right? Circles are expresses. Correct. Yeah. That's a hex. So that's a hex. That's a hex, which means both of those are freights. Just trying to just trying to look ahead. That's an express there. Um there's nothing like upgrading wise is going to help me. So now it's just a matter of what can I do to help future me, maybe? Um, I mean, help you now, right? But like, if you if you planning on getting to London, upgrading Royston would yeah, help. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So I think I will do that. That upgrades there. So you see, coming from Cambridge, shooting on down south. Uh, same route. I don't think that's going to change. I can't go further. Four hex sides. One, two, three, and four. And then from here to there, and then the three intervening. So we're just going to submit it. It's going to be 2.30 again. Um, let me just check. I have that. That's good. Okay, we're good. Uh, and the other thing is I want to look at trains. The Ds are 360. Yeah, I'm fine with that. So I will go ahead and pay out and move two to the right. I am skipping trains. I am not going to acquire anything. That is me. Uh, Alyssa, take over. I will be right back, y'all. All right, I am not merging. So now I have a choice. I can upgrade Sudbury. Or I can lay Brandon and Burry. And giving up a dip, but I think this is the better long-term play. And I can run Ipswich to Colchester, and then Colchester up to Bury. Is that my best? I think that's my best. Yeah, that's my best. And we get a 60 subsidy pay and paying 190, so it's a little bit worse this time. But now I will do the thing and buy the 3L, which will rust everybody's trains, everybody's A trains. And Ooh. I'm done. And I will not acquire and morning. Well, I could have had one more thing, you would think. But I guess not. Uh, well, not merging with anybody. I now only have. So I've got to run through my home. You must include station. your home station. Okay. That token in Cambridge is looking fairly wasted at this point. <laughs> It'll be useful later. I'll take your word for it. Ah. Uh, now, where do I want to go? I, I've not got much money. Um. 
but I do uh, maybe in a position where I might be able to buy something buy another company in the next round so this is where the merging comes in right because I'll be Correct. able to and, and really start another company and merge. And we'll, we'll walk you through the process and we'll help you, at least I will if you want, uh, yep. to, to keep you from doing crazy stuff. The, likely, your route is going to be from the port through King's Lynn going west. You don't, you skip uh, Hall Beach and go to the west or the Midlands because it's a three. And so you would, you would count two of those. Got the two nineties, pay one eighty. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's that's my uh, that's, that's my route. route for this one, right? But, but the question want... is, what do I want to build? Exactly. Do yeah. I? Want... I suppose I want to build something. I'm not quite sure what, though. You could um, always you could always continue the route that I did for Bishop's uh, Stortford and getting into London for future and maybe. And that that is going to help me in the future. You think? Maybe. It depends what company, like, I, it is way too far to, like, I, that, that is way too impossible for me to answer. The other option is you could upgrade, like, down a market. You could, True. yeah, I mean, th that's realistically the two options, I would say. And the other thing is if you build Bishop Stortford, Stortford, whatever, um, you could also build March if you wanted to. Because you get two yellows. Right. Hmm. Oh, and have a whistle straight down to London. Exactly. So if you were to start the whistle, the one that's in Wispick. Wispick, yeah. Uh, that that or, or or you build March and and Wispick. Like those are options too. If you're thinking about starting the the. The whistle that that is a legitimate does, good option for you. When, when does the N and E become startable? Is that later in the? Uh, if okay, so now thing? if you if you follow with me, if you look at my screen at least, the N yep. so um, you see that the whistle is currently available, right? Then right. these are available. And help me out, Alyssa. I can't remember. Everything should be available is, now because we we started C, so everything oh, should be available C. now. Right, so you see here the N and E is available, then the ECR, right. the Weaver, etc. On the map, they had black borders oh, when yeah. they were not available, and they're now all they're white all now. white. So oh, okay. You, yep. Good call. So that's another Thank possibility. You. I could look to start the N and E, but that's and, a local, uh, so it can't hit London. Ah, right. But and, the whistle is. The freight, and so you're not going to be able longer. to tie in to that l great local network that they have there because right. you can't join in with the whistle stops. It's right. city to city. Okay. So if I am going to do something combined, then a freight would be more attractive anyway. So yeah, I think I'm going to go up to whistle actually. I think that is an excellent oh. choice. And it's because you want it, I'm sure, for some nefarious no, 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 reason. No, no, I, I okay. 100 percent am just and legitimately trying to help you this game. I couldn't care less about winning tonight. And yeah, and then I want to connect it. I might as well connect it into the Midlands with one of those. Um, one thing to remember, th Martin, is you're not going to be able to run Midlands to London because they're both red. So all right, so it may not matter that much. But, so you, right. might, you, you, if you go off at the King's, options, oh, you, you're took it out of King's Lynn anyway, so you're not getting into that port. So I don't know. Right. But if you want yeah. to go down into down a market or so something, the connection might be useful for the King's Lynn. You know, if they if they're assuming the LNH has some survival chance, then yes. having a connection that would work for that might be good. Yes, that's true. So. I think what I want is I'll I'll point it towards that direction anyway. Um, what's the track upgrade? I should check the tile upgrades. Make sure I'm not doing anything completely stupid, just mildly stupid. Oh, and yeah, and an tile, another right. point is, and I forgot this, but Private Vendetta pointed out, um, if you look in down a market, the LNE is another freight that's available as well. Right. 
Okay, doke. Um, so the, yeah, the freight would go to. I uh, can't go red to red. You know. So actually, maybe I will turn it round. Maybe maybe There's... you do a tight from March up to Wisbeck to Downton Market. One. Uh... Uh... One counterpoint, right? If you lay bishops instead of Wisbeck, then if the whistle starts, it can still lay its home tile and token London, or no? No, the it counts as a track lay. Okay, never mind. Well, I'm going with that. Okay. So it'll point, oh, well, actually, it's pointing to King's Limit. It can't actually get in because there's no track connection, so... But when it goes to you'll probably be able to. However... Yeah, I, I, I can upgrade it later. That's an That's okay. Okay. All right, shut we'll up. Go with that. Go ahead. Um, I don't think I want to lay a token. Don't think there's a token really screaming to be laid, unless I wanted to put it in Ely for some reason. The 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 point four. Uh, well, if you put it in Ely, it makes the LNE. It 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 hampers it the LNE pretty badly. Yeah, the LNE right. is basically dead. Yeah. Whereas, so, the, and looking at priority order, Alyssa has priority, then James, then you, then me, then Felix, in that order. Right. So, you may want to keep your options open, so I think maybe that might not be the best idea. Yep, that, was a, that was reasonable. Okay. Okay, now, um, clear, clear all and see what, it, see what it autos for me. It autos, as suggested, going into uh, Midlands from the port. So mm -hmm. I'll do that. All right. And then, hmm, is it worth a withhold? That's the question. It gets you a C. A, hmm? It gets you a C. That's what I was thinking. That would be enough to pick up a C train. And a C train is a three so instead of it being a two three it's a straight three so count all three of them right yeah and it would give me a bit more time before rusting yeah i don't like withholding but i think i will what the hell is is felix glaring at me for withholding no he's not reacting at all so that's okay i mean if i would do it i wouldn't withhold but if it's okay. <laughs> The uh, and another positive, I guess, in support, if you were to withhold, is you'll notice that you're only foregoing one move to the right. It's not like a yeah. double or a triple jump or something like that. Your investors yeah. don't approve. It feels like a small withhold. So I like getting my mer I like getting my money in mergers. <laughs> Explain what you just said, because I don't understand mergers. Remember, I've never seen one. Oh, so if you start a new company and you you yep. have to buy a train, but if you start a new company and you merge the new company with the old company, you have all the money that the old company got, that the new company got, right? So you start right. a new company at a high par price, and you keep all the extra money, and you just you just put in a whole bunch of money in the company without withholding. But it's it's a little dangerous, and I want to clarify because if you merge a company that has no trains, that company is worth half of what it would be worth normally. Okay. So, you, so you the question is, can I merge it through. before I need to, before the last train rusts? And if everybody mm -hmm. had that answer, then they would be, ex they would play perfectly. Yeah. Mm. The, the train rush in this game is slow until it's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and like, we can go from a D being available to somebody buying an I'm H. I'm out. I'm okay. going to go with, go with the instinct of not, not withhold and pay out. All right. So that means I skip trains, and uh, I'm not acquiring a company. So I'm go. finally done. All right. James, you're up. All right. Now this I is... think I need... Hmm? I'm interested to see what you do here. If you lay the framing framingly ham upgrade for us to be able to connect in the bury. You want your big circle. This is your chance. I mean, to... I do, but I can't run it this cycle. So I'm thinking that upgrading Thereford so I can run the same route you did is going to be better. So I know I, I set myself up for it, but 
Somehow now I'm not going to realize it. Pivot! I think instead we'll just give lots of options. Plus, I can be friendly and open up Therefore with connections to all the companies that haven't started yet. As opposed to, oh, I could shut it down. That would be awful. Oh, wow. That's wow. that's not how that would work. The, the 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 company that most recently laid a station, if that company starts, gets its token back. Remember? Only if the company has already started. Oh. You are, oh, you are correct. Nope. I, I ignore everything I just said. Alyssa's right. He took if he took instead for the NMB can't start. Fact. I'm out of tokens, so there's no worries there. Okay. Oh, is that what you think? I guess that's the same as the way I was going to do it, the auto routing. Explain to me how um, you're doing the auto routing, because I've never done this. So walk me I through I just it. did clear all and auto, and it actually worked. Oh, well, okay. Just don't yeah. do it later in the game. Like it stalls. Yeah, yeah because when, in this in sixty two, you're saying right? Yeah. yeah once good. you have multiple permits, it's not very good. Okay, Roger that. Yeah, I was gonna go the other way, but it's the same. So who cares? So let's submit that, and then. What rust? The, it's the E. So I've got a little while. I don't want to buy a C. And I get a two bump. So I should definitely pay out. And not buy a train. 250. Yeah, locals. They're the best. All right. Skip trains. Uh, skip mergers. ESR, you're up. Felix. Yep. Okay. So, ESR, uh, I will pass the merger. And then, so I don't have anything. No, I can upgrade it. No, I get no benefit in upgrading Ape Switch at the moment. Uh, but I, I don't, I want to skip track. It doesn't matter. I'm thinking too much. I want to token London. All right. Uh, Explain that. So if you want to token London, it takes up your entire turn. That means no tile laying and no other tokening. So I did that. Now I've token London. And now I will clear this route. And I will uh, auto, assuming that it does the right thing. Yep, 210 uh, going up from London, because London is nice and expensive. And you cannot run to London unless you have a token in London. And it's a terminus, and it ends the route there. In London. Yep. So I can withhold it to ten, um, and I only have four shares of it at two ten. Looking at the the C's, the C's are two eighty. So I can't. No, that's dumb. Pay out. I would have done it anyway. But it's nice to think about it sometimes. Redeeming a share? Nope. Okay. And pass. All right, we are now in the stock round and uh, parliament round. I apologize. We are in a parliament round. I thank you. Uh, the amount of ca here, it's easier to see it here. Cash on hand is right there. So every uh, it looks like me or Alyssa's the lowest at two forty six, and the highest is Martin at three seventy. Remember that you can start a company. Uh, you are on in a parliament round, you're on the hook for five shares, but you are allowed to sell shares during the stock round to buy shares. Right. Um, and you are allowed to sell up to 100% of the company. So you're not on the hook for a company. Go ahead, James. Whatever happens in the parliament round, the priority deal for the stock round will be the same. Alyssa it will. has priority. It will. Cool. Priority cannot change in Parliament. All right. So, and, and I will start a bid for the NMB. 
All right, let's find the N and B here. Uh, N and B N is the freight B. right there in Thetford. Well, that's a pretty good. That's pretty good, Alyssa. That is for those good. of us. For those of us on the on the Eastern Loop. So yeah, that would require from its home there. It's a freight, so it's across one, two, three, four borders. So it needs a four freight to get into London? Uh, it does, and yeah. look at that. That's what the D is. Wow. And we currently have two independent like networks because those two are not joined. So, the, so for Martin yeah. and I, the N and B is less interesting because we can't merge them with our other company. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, 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 oh. All right, I don't know how high I'm going to go, but I'm sure going to go higher than zero. Martin? I don't think I want to play in this game. Yep, pass, go on. And I will pass as well. I have no interest. Felix? And uh, I'm doing, uh, I'm mathing things out. So this thing is going to pay, let's pretend it's 150 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 30 plus upgrades. But that's so, a general idea. So 90, so it's like 240 or so. The 150 is talking about the middle of London right there. Yep. And then it's a freight, it's the end. So Thetford is going to run. Uh, 150 and then 30 into its home station and then it's going to have three intervening hexes at 20 apiece. So that is, uh, what is that, 240 currently, right now? Yeah, so that that's pretty good. Uh, I will bid 10. I mean, the fact that Thetford is this big hole where everybody has to go right now is significant. Um, and, Go back and back, call, back me, to me. call me stupid, but isn't, isn't the NMB tokened out of Colchester? It is, but oh. it'll merge with one of our companies. Oh, yeah. right. Okay. Right. Fair enough. Right. Durr. Uh, so while Alyssa's thinking, Joe I, says it's a very different game to the four player game. That is very true. Uh, does, anybody, does anybody have a preference for one or the other? I kind of like this, but I like them both, honestly. And I want to play a crazy, like, seven player game of this. I have played this six, I have played this three, four, five, six, and eight, and love it at all of them. And okay. one. It's nice. a very different game at all of them, but it's. But it's it's really good. Yeah, there's so few there's so few games that you can say that about one to eight. Mm. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. I, I, pass, I, haven't by the way. A, I haven't played a past five. Oh, uh, wait. Who passed? What what happened? Uh, I, Alyssa passed, and James bid fifteen. Yeah, twenty five. Twenty. Oh, Sorry. you gonna take that, James? Yeah, if it's worth 20, it's worth 100. I mean, seriously. Math. <laughs> Time to math. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know if I like 4 or 5 better. That's a but compliment. I don't know if I like 4 or 5 better, and they're, all, they're both so different. It's kind of amazing. Right. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, this is, this is a pretty, pretty fantastic. Uh, oh, title. that's a... Ooh, this thing was... Just, Oops, sorry, James. Good. I was just gonna say that crossed a that crossed a critical line. Well done, <laughs> Felix. Oh, I think that takes the one hundred par off the table. Mm. Okay, okay. Hmm. So y'all at home still following along, still making sense, still enjoying it. Hopefully. The problem is if I don't get this, what? It What's left? I mean, the IMB is connected, but it's got nowhere to go, really. The I guess FDR it, is still up. I guess if it merges in, it's in London, too. 
IMB is so right there. The IMB is awful. And that's an express. Meaning it just counts big cities and can run off board. Oh yeah, that's Alyssa's going to go IMB, aren't you? Now that you've given up on this. I, I There's want, also the FDR, I, just just to try and facilitate uh, things. Uh, yeah, those are, those, are, those are the three countries our side of the board is ending up with. Yeah, the IMB, <laughs> the NMB, and the FDR, because One, the FDR two, coming down. Three, yeah. four, five. The FDR has the benefit of being water, so you're... Right, it's five yeah, to we'll London. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, I won't say that the NMB was bait, but the NMB was bait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Even Me though, too, oh. while, while while he's uh, faffing here, Martin, are are you? It's making sense to you so far. Obviously, you haven't gotten to the merger aspect and all that yet. But following along, probably, yeah. Okay, all right. You're making heads and tails of the of the different trains, right? Pretty much. Okay, good. And James, you said the hundred par was off the table. I would like to remind you it was off the table before because you don't get to sell in the Parliament round, and you have to be able to buy three shares. So I would have had to have three hundred dollar. Oh, thank you. Okay, yep. This is a reminder. Great point. Yep, thank you. Yeah, I have a, a 90 par is my best. So I'm thinking about what number I'm going to par it. I have a so couple of shares. Has it. Well, um, yeah, I'll par it at 90. Right there. Okay. All right, so now it is Alyssa's option to start the FDR. And we'll, now we'll start with the IMB. Oh, okay. I and B. Let's check the map. Don't let him get it for zero. Oh, but it's another trap. Let her, ha let her have it for zero. Think of it this way. If if you do let her have it for zero, then you that, get the may FDR give, for zero. that may give you the FDR for zero. No, but if you if you let her have it for more than zero, you might still get the FDR for zero. Just also, kidding. also fair. Also <laughs> fair. Wow, this is tough. Wow, wow. Uh, yes, not sure. I disagree. Uh, I think it's quite easy. I just pass. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not hard. I mean, it's a very simple. I mean, game. you are. Martin is winning. I. Yeah. It's because you none of them are a really good track. Look at this thing. And, uh, yeah, not sure. He, uh, I, I believe not sure is helping out with time stamping. So we need to, whenever phases change, call it out. Okay. Thank sure. you. Not sure. All right. I parted 82. So on to James, would you like the FDR for free, sir? I'm going to try. Well, I mean, assuming that Martin and I pass easy there. Okay, sure. I'll be right back. <laughs> Martin? Oh, yeah. Yes. I pass. And I, too, shall pass. All right, James. What are you parring it at? I got it. So I can do 100 because I have... Oh, man. Can I do 100? The game allows you to. Because you have 304, I, I believe, right? It does. Yes. So then I'll need to come up with 200 more, which I'll get from selling Martin, right? He's at, yeah, 220. Gosh. I mean, yes, please. All right, Martin. Do you wish to be on the hook for five shares to float a company? I think I do. Okay. I've got a fair amount of possibilities, right? Because that liquidity thing is just current liquidity, right? It's not... Uh, once we get into a stock buying round, I'll, I'll have more liquidity by selling my Correct. stock. Correct. Yes, yes. 
So that 370 is just what I currently have to play with. Which means you can par it at 100 and you are... No, assuming I don't capable. You know, bid more than 70 for it. Fair. All right, fair point, yes. So I'm going to go out. I'm, I'm actually... Uh, so it's only you that's going to compete with me. Um, and the question is, are you going to be happy enough just going with the... Uh, if I go for Wistall... Sorry, the Wisbeach, the Wisbeach St. Ives and Cambridge Junction Railway. <laughs> that just flows um, are you off gonna the be... It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Then are you going to be comfortable with the Lynn and Ely? Which uh... is basically the same. Well, if, if we play nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any reason why not to. Um, Both I mean... three are, in, are playing nice together, so, you know. We're playing nice together? Have, have you seen <laughs> Well, okay, our, our neck of the yeah, There's a bit of British irony coming in here. Cause we... <laughs> uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is, that is a late game. So, realistically, I mean, there's the ECR. But the problem with the ECR down here is you're tokened out of Colchester. Um, I suppose you could get into Sudbury. Huh. Okay. But you're tokened out of New Market. Oh, but you're tokened out of New Market permanently. That is a fair point. Notice the ends are the only cities that go to three tokens. They, they go to four. Uh, okay. yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, but but they only those are the only ones that go to three. The like New Market, Ely, etc. Those bad boys are staying at two. Um. Oh. So yeah, and that's something also. But it, it it I'm happy to say that that's been moot for you. Um. Well, the I also goes to four. The N and the I both go to four. Oh, and the N yen goes to three. Yes, I'm, I'm looking at the later stage. Yeah, well. the I is if switch only. Okay, I was wondering what the I was. But that would make sense. So two I, the L and E. I mean, they're effectively the same thing currently, right? Freight. The well, because then it merges. Does do I care? So um. Refresh, uh, refresh my memory. The E and H, its home is which Eli. one? Kings Lynn. Or no, Eli. Eli. E and H is yours, right? Yeah. It's yeah. Ely. Or Ely, yeah. Yeah. You can tell the home, I mean, it's hard to see, but the home tokens have a white ring around them. Oh, yeah, I see that. Okay, so the L and H up here, that's why it has the white ring around it. Got it. That's the okay. home token. Um, the reason that's going to matter is because of uh, when you merge, only one of the companies survives and you have to hit your home station, right? So, yeah, I'm okay with that. I will, I will, I will let you have that. I'm good with that. All Thank right. you, sir. Yep. So now what are you going to part at? Right. So how do I, oh, I click on it and it yep. tell me the possibilities. Yep. I think I go all the way to 100. I mean, I'll be I able mean, to sell shares to be able to get there. Yep. So I think I'm going to go all out. Yep. Um, so now the question is... Be back in a moment. Do I... So the l &E is mine for the parring or for the taking for free because if you look, uh, cash on hand, nobody has enough for the president's share now if you look up there at the very top. So therefore, it, I can have whatever I want, which ever, whatever I want means realistically the l and &E. And the reason we're not looking at any of these out here on the northeast corner is because there's just no infrastructure and they're really far to get down to get to London. So the l and &E is the main one. The question is, does it make sense? Mm -hmm. I am currently, I have four shares. No, sorry, I have six shares. And it's currently at 134. 
I really don't want to have to sell those because selling them, then it goes diagonal, goes to 128, to 122, et cetera. But 128, I don't think is too bad. Um, I really don't feel like breaking out the calculator and doing the math. 276, uh, that's such a low number though. Okay, I have to, sorry. Not terrible, great, exciting stuff. Talk amongst yourselves while I math. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Um, Ooh, wow, what did I miss? I could part at 82. You know what? If I... 82... Is that enough? The company still has 320. It is. All right, so I am going to go ahead and do, what one did I say? I apologize, it's the L&E. So I will put the L&E up for zero. No one else can do it. I now own it. I am going to set the par at 82. And then uh, let me make sure I didn't mess that up. Give me one second before we do anything further. Uh, I have 30, 82, uh, 30, 30, uh, 160, 80. I have just enough. Yes. All right. We're good. I'm happy with that. So Alyssa, we are now in stock round four. Yep. I have no money. And however, I do have an obligation here to float the IMB, so I will sell two shares and buy an IPO share. So as you can see, that's what she did. Okay. And James? I also have an obligation. So as much as I believe in the LNH, it's time to divest that so that I can buy an FDR. So you can see the LNH sold, uh, James sold two shares from 110 to 105 to 100. So it goes diagonal and that's okay. why it's where it is. Okay. Right. Martin. Well, I will also need to sell some shares to make my obligations. Let me just look at the red sheet to figure out what I currently have. I have 70 bucks. It's not anywhere near enough. Um, I'm selling at a hundred. I've got to get what two more shares. That's two more shares. So I need to sell two. That's, I think, what I need to do. So how do I do this? So I you, press on the. You click on the company that you're selling. Yep. And then I say sell two. There you go. Two hundred. Do I want to sell more than that? I wonder. I don't think there's any need to have any more money. So, no, I think I'll just code with that. And now you can purchase um, one of whatever it was that you wanted, the whistle. Yes. the No, please, the Wizbeach St. Ives and Cambridge Junction Railway. I, I apologize, sir. All right. So there we I, are. I will sell uh, one of the ENH. So I will sell one. And then I started the L and E. And yes, buy an IPO. I'm done. Felix. I will sell. Um, I mean, I, I, I will probably sell both LNHs, but I'm thinking also about selling the EUR. And why would I do that? I'm not entirely sure. Um, but let me start with the LNHs, sell those, and, uh, let's see, the EUR is going to merge, it's currently at 100, it's going to merge with what? The IMB. With the INB, which is at 82. Doesn't have to merge right away, though, because it's got a C. True. But if I sell it, 
and I buy an IMB, I sort of make money. Um, well, LMB is going to, f- or IMB is going to fall back. Yeah, that's true. Well, it doesn't matter. When it merges, it becomes a thing. That's true for everything. So anyway, I'm going to think about that. I'm going to think about what I'm going to buy, but I'm definitely selling it. I haven't decided what I'm going to buy. And then I'm going to buy my IPO share for it. Alyssa? I will float the IMB. It gets 820 minus 180 for the three tokens. So it's got 640, which is enough to get all the way up to an F, which will hopefully be good enough. And James just did very similar for the FDR. And now Martin. I uh, buy one more whistle. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. It's the Whiz Beach, St. Ives, and Cambridge Junction <laughs> Railway. Thank you very much. Uh, Indeed it is. Uh, so I <laughs> have... Really the, uh, not an L, so... <laughs> uh, I, will, I will do just like everyone yes, else. D, really. It is, technically. All right. So, Felix. I'm buying another NMB, which pars it and gives me 720. All right. I am on Autopass. And if you can see, the only one that can afford anything without selling anything, I believe, is Felix. Can you, Martin, at 70? No, you cannot. So Felix is the only one that can buy anything. So I pass. So I can buy... The, the things I'm looking at here is I can buy an NGC for 74... Or I'm going to grab the player aid. Be right back. Or I can buy an ENH for 90. Which one of those is going to be better? I'm not sure. I, I, I don't really want to do the math. <laughs> I mean, the NGC's <laughs> trains are just better. The NGC's trains are better. Yeah, that is true. No, NGC's trains are uh, Bs, aren't they? And, oh, and so are... But they're yeah, two yes. Bs. Two Bs instead of one B, and a local instead of a freight. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's yeah, but I'm a bad. I'm a bad bet. Don't bet on me. I I will continue to bet on. I trust you. Back to you, Marty. How, how many times can you screw this up? It can't be three. Every times. every time. <laughs> All the time. And back to Felix. Uh, all right, I have thirty-nine dollars. I can sell something, but I don't think I will. I pass. And now we wait for Edward. I keep priority deal again. I've had it a lot this game. Kind of because nice. Felix likes to do stock market shenanigans, and so <laughs> he's always the last one buying. Yeah, he is a super investor. I, it's very I, impressive. Yeah. It always gives me hope that in these games, you know, you can be very successful as an investor. You don't have to run your trains. You can just invest in the good companies and, and ride the wave. And so it's uh, it's eye-opening. I appreciate it. Hey, I had the least painful stock round. We all lost money that stock round, but I had the least painful. Well, okay. uh, I guess I, tie with Edward. Hi. Hello. Uh, Apologies for that, but I wanted. There's a printout that's available on BGG um, that we we used in our stream. Uh, the reason I wanted to grab this one, along with the regular player aid, is it has not only the steps for the uh, ORs, but it also has everything for the mergers laid out. And that way, I can walk Martin through it cleaner than I would be able to otherwise. So that's that's why I ran off to apologies. Okay. All right. Uh, so now, now, so the E and H. Uh, so looking at this, so the E and H does have the availability to merge uh, with the company. It is not going to. It is going to pass. And now laying track. So the E and H. Now we're just looking. How can I help my good friend? Yeah, I think so. Um, so the ENH is going to lay track. It is going to lay... Do we care? I don't really think so, so let's just keep it simple. 
We'll just go straight there. And you'll notice that even though I only laid one track, nothing else is highlighted. There is no, because I can't get to any other yellow, so that means I am D-U-N done. You know, wait a second. It, to be clear, you can't merge with the L and E yet because it doesn't I have a token. Because it doesn't exist, right? Um, I am allowing him to do that. Does that scare me? Huh. Does that worry me? No, because I, I think it's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it. I'm done with the track lane. Uh, all right, only has a two F. Has to include its home. So um, I think we will just go ahead and clear all, and let's try this auto thing. Let's. It it really doesn't like me doing this. It will not let me. Seriously. Yeah, see? Watch. Look at my screen. I hit auto. Nothing happens. You have to clear first? No, I did. did. Clear train. Did. Clear oh, yeah. all. You did, yeah. Yeah, none. Clear all. Auto. No, it just won't let me. It just doesn't like me. That's hey, Derek. Hey, eclectic camel. All right, so I have to include my home. I mean, this isn't hard, so it's going to go one, two, three. There we go. The end. I don't have a choice. So it's crossing two borders, going there. I suppose I have a choice, but that is the better thing. There. Now, now I need to be smart. Okay. So looking here, there are three C's and the E's rust the B's. I have one B. So, we currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten companies. Ten companies. Three. Uh, plenty of money. And a B costs 280 and the D's are 360, so 280 and 360 respectively. So 280, one, two, three, four. Do I buy a B? I think we're going to pay it, and if this bites me, mm, yeah, we're going to pay it. Oh, it's a C, not a not a B. Sorry. Um, is that dumb? You know what? I am going to buy one. I will buy one, and I am not going to acquire another company. I am done. The NGC of James, you're up. Go. I'm not going to acquire someone else's company. So what am I going to do here? I guess I'm going to make, make the peace offering. Let's see if that happens. I still don't know if that's good, but I did it for a reason, so let's let it lie. I think that route is still the best. Doesn't look like anything got upgraded. That's not connected yet, so we'll sh ship it. And... Man, those locals getting 80 to the company even when you pay out. That's so gross. Oh, it is gross. Mm. Locals are broken. Um, 
I want to point out that the last time we played this on stream, the locals did not win. <laughs> I know that I always lose and I never have a local. So there's another fact. <laughs> I don't... I think I'll just pay out. I don't know why I need to withhold yet. Okay. And any, any I, don't, I need... I don't think I need locals over here. So, no. And uh, not acquiring. Felix. Yeah, all right. So I will not merge. Um, I will... Uh, what am I doing? Uh, upgrading Ipswich? That'll be useful in the future. But it's not useful now. So why should I do it? Um, I don't want to do something that's not useful now. So I'm going to do that. And I don't... Wait a minute. Why is it letting me put down the end? It'll let you click it, but it won't let you put the check mark. Oh. Yes. Alright, sounds good. And I'm going to go down here for no reason. Um, and then I run the same route, 210, pay out 105 to my treasury. So this is a good question. If I don't buy a train here, I am risking half pay. But I only have four shares. Um... So is that so terrible? Let me see what's coming up ahead of me. I got I got to take a look at that. So looking at the spreadsheet, I can see that after me comes the FDR, and the FDR has no train, so it's going to buy a train. And then the Whistle uh, has no train, so that's going to buy a train. And then the EUR will probably not buy a train. That's so two of them. Yep. That's two, and that leaves the D, unless the EUR, who's owned by uh, Alyssa, which is a problem because she's evil. Um, <laughs> the company currently has 220 in the coffers, the EUR. It does. Yeah, but does she want to hold that to get a permanent train? Because, oh, well, you know what? No, because she can buy that train and then give it to the other person, but so can I. You can't give trains. You can only purchase trains. You can only purchase them, yeah. Um, Not being pedantic, but it's a slight... You're being pedantic. And she's no, got that is significant. I see no reason why she... Oh, that's what you it. mean, yeah. I see no reason why she wouldn't do that, if only to mess me up. So the question is, is this 280 that I'm going to lose here for this train buying is worth... Because what happens is you when you merge, it, it's, it's worth half, right? So it's going to be worth 60 instead of 120. Am I correct in that? I forget the Say, that, say that one right. more time. I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, that if I have no train, my company is worth half of what it's normally worth. Yeah, right. the, e the ESR, currently at 122, if it's it has no train, is worth 60, uh, mm -hmm. 60, effectively, yes. Yeah, you need six trains to be bought to be in trouble, and five are definitely being bought, so it's only one more train. Yeah. And yes, you buy, you purchase trains at full price from other companies. There's not a lot of train shuffling in 62, in my experience. I mean, the thing is, it's only two, it's a 240 loss, but it's, I'm going to make it up for it pretty quickly. So it's okay. I'm going to pass. I'm sorry that took a long time. Pa pass on skipping buying yeah. the train, you mean, right? Yeah. No, you're fine. No, you... The way I see it, as long as you're working out and, and you're talking it through, I don't think anybody, anybody minds hearing that. That, that. that was good. Keep going. All right. Uh, I choose not to buy a train I pass. Uh, 
uh, FDR. 30 minute, 30, 20 minute later, Felix is really mad at me right now. <laughs> All right. I could merge the with the NGC, my own company, at the start, but that would be silly because I haven't operated yet and I don't have a train. So Right. You want the train will, first. Yes. I will pass on the start merger. And now for the trickety track. Oh, I can I can connect in my loop de loop. That's kind yeah. Of... To be clear, he has not laid track. He just put down his home token because uh, Felix's hometown there was already laid. He just put the token down. Well, let's do the loop de loop. I still don't know why I wanted that, but I wanted it, so I'm going to keep on doing it. I mean, it's so... a fun little loop. Yeah. yeah. That, that... That seems pretty good. All right, and then I think I need to be tokening Eep Speech. So I will token the Eep Speech. Right there. And now comes the fun. I have to buy one, but do I want to buy two? Um, Buying so two we... seems sketch, James. I'm just saying. Uh, it does, but on the other hand, I mean, hey, uh, fail fast. I, I will. I will hate you, and we will both go down in flames. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I Felix mean, definitely would hate you for doing that. I need two C's to run to London, which would be tasty. I'm it just saying work. that those C's may not exist by the time we get back to you. <laughs> you, might not, you might not even run them once. <laughs> All right, well, let's... Maybe I should buy a warranty. Um, you run no let's more. Check. <laughs> it is up to you. So seven trains would have to be bought before I operate again to rust a C. That's a lot of trains. You, Four seven of which trains? are guaranteed to be bought. What? Four of which are guaranteed to be bought. Because there's four trains four, without a company. Or, yes. Four, yeah, you're right, four you're right. companies without a train. Nope. So you're right. It's only three extras. And and there's a lot of money. Everybody's there. got enough money to be buying twos. And, and, and the and all the bees are gonna are about to rust, so the trains that are don't have the trains the companies that have only bees are in trouble. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, now, now is the time, uh, Martin. I would like to point out warranties real quick. Normally, okay. normally, war uh, the A's and the D's both automatically come with one warranty. A single warranty means that every time or every time a train operates, it discards a warranty. Whether it needed to use the warranty or not, it discards a warranty. So a D okay. comes with a. Uh, a warranty, which means it's guaranteed to run once. Okay. So right. that said, if you choose to buy extra warranties, every train, every time that train operates, the warranty stays with the train itself and that train discards a warranty automatically. Okay. So that's what those right. do. All right. So he bought one so far. Yeah. You've successfully scared me off and it makes some sense. I mean, the, the early trains are going to disappear. Uh, and so I'm saving money for... Uh. Hey, you play your game. You play you. <laughs> Here's the way I see it is, look, I love Alyssa, and she's incredibly smart. But we see new stuff that works or doesn't work all the time. So it might work. I don't know. Well, the other thing that always happens to me in this game is I fail the train rush. Well, there's something to be said for consistency. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, this either works spectacularly and you get to run to London, or it fails spectacularly you don't get to run these trains. <laughs> okay, all right. So, back up. Back up. Undo one step. You're going too quick. Uh, I don't need... I, I'll stop here. We're good. So, I... Only bought the one train, and then I decided to acquire myself. Okay. So we're starting 
the acquire All workflow. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to work our way through this. So they must be connected. Are the FDR and the NGC connected? Obviously because it shows that you can do it they are. But showing our work, we got the FDC and the NGC are connected. We're good to go. So now you'll notice select the corporation to survive. So one of these is going to go back to be available to be purchased again and started again in the future, possibly. Uh, the, the things that James is considering is the home of the NGC, which is in New Market, right there. You can see the white border around it there. And the home of the FDR is right there. Where does he want his home? That's what he's deciding right now. There are other implementations implications here but that's the main one so go ahead and do that step and we'll go to the next one right and i'm leaning towards fdr in part because it has the more modern train so it's easier to hit its home um and once i get out to ipswich i've got the pleasant uh local loop so i feel like fdr is the survivor okay so selects fdr okay so now, oh, hold on one second. Did that already? And the NGC, no, it has not yet. Okay. Yeah, so now, all the shares are flopping around, and it, Felix has a half share to okay. deal with. So Felix has, uh, let's go look at his. So finding Felix right here. You're looking here that he has... One share. Where? Okay. Oh, no, hold on. Let me go to the spreadsheet. That's going to be easier. Um, this is the, not the FDR, but what's the other one? The one, that, the NGC. The, no. One already. Huh? Oh, this it's already cool. happened. Do me a favor, yeah. undo one, James, so I can, can you undo the, which company will survive? Yep. There we go. All right. So we're back here. He's deciding what company is going to survive because it's automatic. I want to be able to talk through this. So if you look here, the NGC that James, looking up here at James, he has five shares and Felix has one share. And then the FDR, uh, James has five shares and nobody else has any. So when they merge, they merge on a two to one basis. So these 10 shares of James are going to become half of that. So that's going to be five shares. That's easy enough. That math works out. But in Felix's case, he only has one of those two companies, which is effectively a half share. So once he merges, don't hit the button yet. There's one other thing I want to talk about. He's going to have to decide. He can either recoup that money for that half share, or he can spend the other half and he will get one share of the surviving company. Now, if you look at the market, we find the FDR is at 90 and the NGC is at 122. How this works is the lower value company. This is assuming that both companies have trains. And then I will talk about what happens if they do, one of them doesn't. The lower value company is full uh, value. So that all FDR, so that's going to be at 90. And then the higher value company is going to be half of that, which is 61. So 90 plus 61 is going to be 151. We find the nearest 151, which is, or lower, uh, which is going to be 150. So when he clicks that button, that FDR and the NGC, the NGC is going to go away and the FDR is going to jump up here to 150. So then... We're getting back to talking about Felix's one share. Felix's one share does not matter whether it is the NGC or the FDR. It is a half share of the surviving company. Doesn't matter what the color is of that company. So it's half a share. We just established that it's going to be 150 bucks. So Felix is either going to get $75 cash or pay 75 bucks cash out of his pocket and then he ends up with one share or zero shares, respectively. Does that make sense? All right. Now, if a company does not have a train when this process happens right now, what happens then is that company, the trainless company, is worth exactly half of that number, 
which will probably then make it the lower value company. So in this case, let's say the NGC didn't have a train, it would be at 61 value, which is really 60, well, it'd be 61 plus half of 90, which would be 45, that is 106, I think, which is really 105. You can see what a significant difference that is. And that's the importance of having a train in all the companies that merge. And now you just see, boom, the FDR just jumped up because James hit the button. Does that, is that clear? Does that make sense? Do you follow along? Yes. That okay. Very helpful. All right. Awesome. Uh, all right. So now the ball is in Felix's court. What do you want to do? Well, so I want to point out first that I bought this share for $74. So I made my dollar, I actually made a little more because of it ran, but I made a dollar, therefore it was a good buy. Well and done, you. The second half now. Well yeah. done. I said you are a pro investor, so bravo. <laughs> <laughs> so he, you can see that, uh, wow, okay, hold on. So let's go back up here. So he swapped an NGC for an FDR and he paid the 75 bucks. So now yeah. James now has five shares. Everything that was in the NGC is now over to the FDR, which is trains and permits. So now, if we look at the FDR, you're going to see it has a three freight and it has a two three um, local and a two three local. And you'll look down here where it says permits, it says freight and local. It runs both types of trains. However, again, same rules apply, they must all intersect and you may not count the same city double for revenue. So it just gets a little bit more complex, but the same rules come into play here. Okay, cool. And obviously uh, both of their treasuries merged. So now the FDR has 870 quid to hopefully do their thing. And oh, one more thing, I apologize uh, here. You'll notice that um, I'm not going to have them undo it, but the NGC had a token in Colchester. It had one in Sudbury. It had one in New Markets. And I think that's it. All those became FDR tokens automatically. If they both, if both of them were in Colchester, then one of them would get removed because you can't have two of the same company in the same place. Uh, also, if the NGC had any tokens left on its company charter, the FDR would get an additional token on its charter because it absorbs that token that it could then lay out. And the other thing that I wanna point out on this is if you go to the entity and you see up here where I'm, I'm moving this slider, you see all of these are grayed out, all of their tokens. Those means those are, are, are on the board. A colored token, or a, the same color as the company, means it still has it on the company charter and can be token, can still be placed, i.e. that one's going into London, he wants. So getting back to this now, so move the assets over, replace the tokens, the merger is complete, and now Martin's up for the whistle. There we go. That is how a merger works. Okay. And I'll be right back. All right, cool. Well done, James. All right, Martin. Okay, so I, at some point during this whole thing, I'm clearly going to merge the yes. East Beach St. Ives and Cambridge Junction Railway together with the Lynn and Hunterston Railway. The question is when? And so I'm pretty sure I want to do it during the operating round for the East Beach St. Ives and Cambridge Junction because... By the time we get to operating the Lynn and Hunterston Railway, it's not going to have any trains, which I assume is going to make life much more awkward for it. Well, it, you, lose, you lose a lot of value in doing that, exactly. if, if that. But the only thing to keep in mind is if you do it on the whistle and not the LNH, regardless of which company remains, you're not going to run two companies, this OR. You're only going to run right. one. Okay, just yes. And so therefore yeah, you but I'm, but I'm not running two companies anyway because there's just no way that those trains are going to survive Perfect. by the time and we get to the other train. you want to do it after the, whiz, uh, the whistle has a train, i.e. acquire at the right. end of its turn. 
And that was the second thing. I don't want to merge now because the Wisbeach and Tyson Cambridge Junction does not have a train and therefore we do have it stock halved when we do the merger. So I've got to actually operate the company, buy mm -hmm. a train, and then acquire, which is. And I want the same to thing. point out one thing that I feel like the terminology makes confusing. Even mm -hmm. though you're going to acquire at the end of the whistle, that doesn't mean the whistle has to survive. It's just another right. word for a merger. And so either yep. company can survive. Okay, just being clear on that. Yep. Okay, good. Well, I mean, you can always say that I'm acquiring, but then taking the logo of the company I've acquired. Fair, I mean, fair enough. But fair enough. Fun. So, so with that in point, I've got to operate with Beach first. So yep. I will pass on the merge. So that's done. So then the next question is, okay, what am I going to do? Well, the Wiz Beach is not going to be able to do anything this go because it's got no train anyway. So the question is, where do I want to set things up? Now. Um, now is where hmm? I think also is an important thing, since this is your first play. If you yep. hit the skip track button right now and you don't lay track, yep. you know what you can do? You can token London. I was about to say, the thing that I think I want to do at this point is to token into London. Okay, cool. Then I, I apologize for taking the wind out of your sails. Please continue. No, but I mean, oh, they've only then said, okay, how do I do that? Okay, but, there you yeah, go. You course, hit skip right. track. Uh, I was wondering about laying track, and I'd forgotten the point that you can't lay track and token London. So, but, I mean, am I being over-optimistic to thinking I'm going to get as far as London with the trains? I'm probably not. It's what? One, two, Between it's from... Big trains could cross the entire map. Sorry about it. Say that again, Felix. Big trains can cross the entire map. Right. Okay. So, so yeah. So I'm afraid for the whistle. Starting if, yep. if the whistle survives, if you choose, starting from Whiz Beach, going across that hex side. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's a five freight gets you into London. Right. If the LNH survives, it is plus one because it's one more, uh, assuming that that gets joined. But as it is, that's one, two, three, four, five, six freight to make it into London if the LNH survives. But it is more money. But it is more money because it's a Y as opposed to a regular uh, hex. Right. Well, and a but seven. the difference between a five and a six is they're both permanent trains, but the six will cost me more. Yeah. Or and it no. will make you well, more. But yes, and the timing well, of what five, can you buy? Five is not a permanent train. I'm sorry. Yeah, fives are not permanent. These are not permanent trains. They rust on the H's. Okay. Or the so G's. So I'm once sorry. we get to a permanent, I'll need a six anyway. Right. Yeah. So that is an argument for having Kings Lynn being the thing, right? Because, I mean, I'm not going to gain by being at Whiz Beach. Yeah, I mean, ideally you get a 7 so that you can run from the port to the to London so everything's 30. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. But we'll see. But let's, we'll cross that bridge when I uh, when the train gets there. So, okay. But So, yeah, I'm going to token. And, of course, there's all this, you know, will things get tokened in, in the intermeaning steps as well? Um... But I think I will token into London to make sure I have the operation into London. Because there's only four companies that can make it into London. Yep. So. And it does not matter where you token it. If it's in any of those four, you can reach it from any of the hexes, to be clear. I was assuming that was the case. So trains-wise, I've got to buy a train. And in fact, it's kind of told me to buy a train, I think. If mm -hmm. I read that correctly. Mm-hmm. The question is, do I want to get any warranties with it? Um, because if I have at least one warranty, that will allow the... Oh, no, because the LNH will go away completely. So it may not... Is, so even with a warranty, it'll at least get one run next go. But it comes with a warranty, you say, right? No. no. The, this D, is D. the Ds come with a warranty. So if you look there ah. on the screen, it has the asterisk. That means... That comes with a warranty. So if, All you, right. if you were to buy a C and a D, the D would have a warranty, the C would not. You could buy it. I'm, I'm not saying that's what you should do. I'm just letting you know. 
Right. And also, um, because you haven't run a freight company, uh, reminder that if you do buy whatever, if you buy a C and a D there, that would technically be an eight freight because those are not permanent. Right, but they're, since they're not permanent, they're not going to survive by the time they come around again to me. Unless you buy warranties. Right. So, um, I don't think buy, buying multiple trains and multiple warranties is a wise move. Well, that's an interesting thought. But then, then that's then if I do that, I'm hoping that the game will end before I'm forced to buy a permanent. Because I'll drain my treasury. Because... I don't want to speak to the C's, but I've seen D's run three times because you buy two warranties with a D, and that, I mean, that runs three times. And right. that might be able to generate enough revenue to where yeah. then you can buy a permanent. So, I don't the know. Game, the game is a little funny because at the end, once the last, once the H train is bought, we're going to finish the OR set and then we're going to run another three times. One more full set of ORs, but you can't lay tokens, can't lay track, you just run. Okay. What, I, what I'm saying is, I don't necessarily think what you're thinking of is a bad move, but you will need a permanent. <laughs> I have not seen a game where the train stays till the end. Right, but I mean, if necessary, I emergency. If I've generated enough money, then maybe I'm okay with that happening, particularly yeah. since that will force everybody else to be... Um, aggressive on the train rush as well. I mean, this is where I'm. My lack of experience of, of all 18xx is uh, um, confusing. Do I push it and go for a an aggressive train move, or do I buy the minimum possible train and hope to pick up a permanent when I do? And the, and this right here is one of the major decision points in this game. Right, is how do I push? Do I hold back? Do I? Yeah, this the, this is the nebulous. We don't have an answer for you. I don't. Yep. yep. That sounds good. But two, but basically if I did get a C and a D, that's basically enough to get me from the port to London. It's a, it it's eight freight, basically. Fact. Yes. And they will so merge. Did that so and heavy warranties. Tokened, yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh so when yeah. you buy warranties, oh you just buy buy them each. It doesn't attach to the train when you buy it them? It does attach to the train. So if I, I'm yep. not saying you should do this, but if you were to buy the 3F and you bought three yep. warranties, that means it's going to run three times. Right. I just and if I then also ran. buy the... Oh, no, because the 3F is the only one I just buy. Oh, I see. I just buy... I'm giving them these grayed out options, but they're for non-freight, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. However, um, however, pause. Yep. Because yes. look at your. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Resmond says there are many answers. All of them are wrong. If you look yes. at. Okay. Now keep in mind that you were about to merge companies, right? Yes. Uh, so you have the whistle, which operates as a freight, and you have the LNH, which is about to merge at the end of this, which is an express. So now is where I would like to point out that. If you want it, and I don't know what the answer is to this question, you could mm -hmm. buy a 3E right now. And then you could buy a 5F. Because even though the whistle can't run the 3E, it's going to be able to run it here in a minute when you merge. And so you're, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, all I'm yeah. doing is, is showing you all your options here and i'm not trying to push you in a direction i'm saying yeah, but if i run a free e that doesn't combine no to run the freight run, but they right? still connect so you could run the three e port to uh whiz beach and then run the five f whiz beach to london and so you would it wouldn't be as lucrative for the freight but you would also get to run the 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 three E. So, and the reason it wouldn't be as lucrative is because the Express is running the port part of it to Whiz Beach, and therefore it's only twenty for the intervening hex between Whiz Beach and London because 
the freight didn't go London to the port or port to the London. Right. Okay. All right. I'm going right. to shut up now. You know all your options. But, but the point you just made that I didn't appreciate was I could buy an express here rather than a freight if yes. I wanted to. Like, which, like if you wanted to buy two trains, you could buy two Fs. You, you know, a 3F and a 5F, right? A, a C and a D. Or you could buy a 3E and a 4E, which is a D. Or you could mix and match. However you want to, you can do that. Because the rules do not state that you that a company has to own a train that it can run. It just must own a train. So therefore, as long as the company owns a train, you can merge without penalty. Right. Hmm. That is uh, an interesting thought and as it, well. I mean, it, all it does is exponentially open up the options, and it's a lot to take in, especially for your first game. Yep. Well, I think I'm going to go with kind of what I was going to go with uh, uh, there. So I'm going to get three warranties in the 3F. Okay. And then... Um, Oh, I can't. Oh, but then I can't afford to buy many warranties. I've only got three ninety if I do that, so I can't afford to buy a warranty in addition to the five F. And it comes with I... one automatically. Right, but I would really want. There's no point in me getting three warranties on the three, and uh, then only getting one warranty on the other one. So I'll undo that. Um, three warranties is clearly not worthwhile. Two might be. Two would be enough. I think. So if I do that, then I've got 440, which allows me to buy one warranty at least. Um, with Through all of this, you could buy no warranties also as an option. Like for the, the threes suck um, in that regard. So... I don't know. Uh, like, I don't know what the right answer is. When you buy one warranty on the five F, though, Martin, you end up with two because it comes with one. So yes, both, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm basically I've got two warranties with each train. So right. I'll be so able to do this eight run twice. Facts. Right. So that's what I'm. I'm going to go with that and see what happens. What the hell? All right. And now here you go. Now I acquire. There you go. Uh, wait, the L and H hasn't operated, right? No. And he, he said so as much. He said he doesn't think the LNH is going to have a train when it operates. Uh, so therefore, he's going to merge them now because safer. Yep. Yep. Okay. And then which one should I have to come survive? Good question. Um, well, we, I actually went through that, didn't I? I said that, I mean, if I'm going to do a long run, it's going to go with the LNH anyway. Um, so I might as well have the LNH. So the LNH will survive, and the Wisbeach St. Ives in Cambridge will not have to be said again for the rest of this game. <laughs> Unless it gets started by someone else. And now you have the same half share option to buy or sell. You have 70 okay. bucks and it costs 61. Yeah, well I might as well buy it, I think. Yeah, what the hell. Well done. There you go. I know that was a lot, and I apologize if I was explaining too much. No, no, it was good. No, okay. it was good to... Uh, that was good. And it's, as you say, it's, it takes a bit of getting into, but um, um, I'm just taking comfort with, uh, with the uh, comment, uh, all options are wrong. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Resmond68. Good to know, but whatever I did was wrong. There you go. <laughs> All right. So EUR is not merging yet, obviously, because the other one doesn't have a train. I will upgrade this track, which lets me put another town on. The rare, the rare double town. So you want to unpack that a little? I upgraded New Market and let me put a second. One of the upgrades is lets you st it stays green, but lets me put a second town on on New Market, so that I now hit three towns on the way through here, instead of just two. Because we're friends, that's because why we friends. did that. Didn't know it was a team game. 
it is it is my understanding it was my understanding that you stopped being friends and i have this time stamp right here so <laughs> nope no nope, we're uh, friends at one one hour 32 minutes and 45 seconds there was a sudbury incident <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, re we repaired that relationship <laughs> oh, okay. By the way, uh, James, jo or I'm sorry, Martin just bought a D. Um, so timestamp wise, there you go. Yeah, so we're in, Not we're sure. in Russet. We're yeah. in Russet. We are officially in Russet. But we're still on the second of the, on the off board payments. Exactly. We're still in the middle. Yes. God, that's wonky. Uh, yeah. At least on, at least on 18... XX.games, they didn't make it yellow, green, russet like they did on the actual board. Yes. Because Agreed. that's that is confusing. It is. All right. So I am running these two routes. I'm running Bury St. Edmunds down to Colchester and then New Market through to Ipswich. It pays 390 or 310 plus 90. And here's where we decide what games we want to play. <laughs> there are... You're going to pass up a triple jump to just buy a bunch of trains? Yeah, that's pretty hard to do. It is a triple jump. But I could get two Ds. Right, but if can you get give, to... if you give up the triple jump, you can do quad jumps later. <laughs> How much cash do I have? I have. I have six twenty, which is not getting both these. So I think we take the triple jump. It'll be worth it in the. It'll be worth it. Oh, but hold on. What does the NB have? The NB has no trains. So it's buying a train. It's buying a D. It might. Buy, it could theoretically buy two Ds if it wants, but it probably won't. Yeah. Because that would be so silly. Yeah, Martin. Going from Ds to Hs in a single OR is not unheard of. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because it's not very... There's only six trains from E to G, so... So I think what you decided to do by merging early, I think that was very prudent of you. I, I'm totally comfortable with the decision to merge early. Uh, that Because I thought there's no chance that that was going to go all through. Whether I did the right thing to buy two trains and the warranties is a whole other question. <laughs> I'm not sure I did that. On, no, to, on to Felix. I did not buy a train. You didn't buy any trains. I didn't buy any trains. Okay. It might be might be wrong, but we will see. Well, I have to pass right here, and I have a track lay. Um, I could build that N up there, or I could upgrade Ipswich. You have an Orange and Brandon Railway, after all. You really ought to go to Norwich. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade Norwich. It's on the tin. What? Who? What? The name of your railroad. Oh. It would be a bit silly to say that you you have a Norwich and branded railway except not going to Norwich. <laughs> I feel like that's a bit of a misnomer then, you know? Yeah, exactly. It, it, it could have happened. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to token anything at the moment. Uh, so I'm going to skip my token. And then I have to buy a train, and I am an F, so I will buy that F train. And then I'm done. Oh, and I... Wait a minute. How do I increase warranties? Oh, I have to undo that. Sorry. How many warranties are you planning on buying, good well, sir? i got to think this through. If I buy two warranties, it's going to be 460 Train's gonna pay out quite nicely. 
but that the important thing is 460 leaves me with um, about $500 or so, $600 maybe, for the future. Which is not ideal. I don't, I don't like that I am behind on the money compared to some people. But I think, I think I have to do it. All right, so what is it you're doing? I'm going to buy two warranties. So that means three warranties on the D, okay? Yeah, uh, on, the, on the 5F. Okay. And now I am going to merge. Oh, I can buy more trains, but I'm not going to. And now I'm going to acquire um, the ESR. The question is, which one should survive, the ESR or the NMB? And I think I'm going to make the ESR survive. So the ESR's home is in Ipswich, and yep. the Norwich is in... Thetford. Where is the home for the NMB? Oh, it's Thetford. in Thetford. Right I mean, Thetford. obviously, why wouldn't it be? I, I mean, it's <laughs> in the name. Uh, so East, East Southern Railroad survives... I'm going to redeem my option share, uh, which for a second there, I, I got a little afraid that I was not going to have enough money, but... <laughs> well done! All right, Alyssa. IMB is not going to merge. It is going to upgrade Ipswich. It is going to token Ipswich. It will... Buy a 4E with two warranties. I would like to point out that's the last D. That means no more warranties because everything else from this point forward is permanent. The game will let you buy warranties on a permit if you would like. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only trade I'm buying. IMB will acquire the Eastern Union. And the question is, which one does it make sense to survive? I think the obvious answer is the Eastern Union. Did it not? What was that? Oh, nothing, never mind. Shrey, just total peanut gallery. He's critiquing my camera placement on the stream. There, 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 <laughs> there's a reason for the way they are. Um, and he also said, don't pronounce the W in Norwich. Yeah, Norwich. Th thank you for chiming in, Shrey. Enjoy your movie. Uh, all right, so the l &E is not going to uh, merge. Doesn't have a train. Uh, the l &E will lay its home station and then it will skip lane track and will token London. And hey, look at that. I get to buy a permanent. And by doing so, that will rust all the bees, correct? It will. And LNE and the ENH. That will rust one, but I still have the other. I'm okay with that. Yep. So we will go ahead and buy the 6F. And we are now in phase E. Not sure. Uh, so so you we're see, now on the rightmost. Say again. We're now on the rightmost outside payments. Oh, good call. Video. Okay, the, uh, on the offboards and the ports and everything. Mm -hmm. Good call. Um, done buying trains. And now, and now, hold on. So that's the L and E. Now I still have the E and H, right? Okay. So looking at this. The L&E is operating. 
There's the FDR is the only thing that operates first. So let's look at the FDR. The FDR has 870 bucks in the company coffers. I think it's going to buy a train. And with that said, uh, it, I can't imagine it's going to buy three of them. So I should be able to operate. Am I thinking about this clearly? Since only one company can operate or it can run before the ENH runs there, it can't rust the train. So the ENH should run by itself first, then merge. That seems good. So I will pass. Done. FDR operating 4.2 is up. Oh, by the way, for the timing, the time information, we've got timestamps on the transcript of the uh, game. Uh, ah. do, so that will also be handy for timestamping the video. Good call. No worries, Shrey. I, I was just messing. We're all getting muted now, he says. <laughs> all right, so what's the FDR doing? What is the FDR doing? What is the FDR doing? Uh, right, we're not doing track because we want to go to London. Right. Uh, and the auto doesn't want to work for me, so let's do it by hand. One, two, three. One, two, three. So starting All in right. the port? Starting the port and running to Colchester. Yep. Um, so that's 250. And the question definitely, I need a 6F. So that's 500. So 870 minus 500 is. 370 and 370 plus 250 would be 620 so I could also withhold and get a 5e I don't I love two permanents but I don't love a 5e but maybe beggars can't be choosers so let's see so one it, it would be a four five e there's two e's left Just to be clear. Yeah, you're Thank buying two E's, you. which are permanents. Thank you. That's even worse. Um, that's even worse. All right. So a four five is going to be one, two, 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 two three, four, two, two, five. I mean, that's a lot of dude dudes, and I'm only dropping the... Wow. And it would be nice to have that train. Right? Because I go... One, two, three. I get those four. And I get one, two, three, four, five dits. Also, you wouldn't be buying E. Sorry, you'd be buying a local. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad City is right. Yeah, we, James is counting it right. He's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's talking about a local to go with the uh, to go with the freight. It's also a four five. So I think I might do it. I think you, I think that sounded pretty good. I can't imagine why you wouldn't. So withhold, go back one, buy two permanents. That sounds like yeah. it doesn't suck. It really doesn't. Uh, does not, it right. certainly does not suck. <laughs> Withhold. And then I need... I need the F. Oh, I don't, oh no, that other F is going to go away. I don't need to think about it. So I get the F. I get the local. Um, I would like to point out you could have bought warranties. But these are all permanents. They're permanents. Oh, yeah. I'm aware. You of just this. want me to I just throw money to... away? 
He's trying to be helpful That's... in that kind of strange, unhelpful way of his. Okay. All right. E and H. Not going to merge yet. I have never survived the train rush in this game. I am I'm still going to lose, but I'm thrilled. <laughs> you have two oh, permanent oh. trains. No, I think you're in decent shape, James. Yeah. Hey, I want to see a happy dance. Like like the 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 little uh uh per, not prairie dark ground uh, what is it in Caddyshack? Edward's theoretically in the lead on the board, but he hasn't done his merge yet. I have not. And and if he if he finds a way to not merge, he'll win. But I don't think there's a way for him to not merge. <laughs> I, 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 uh, the company has forty quid in it. Yeah, so I think, uh, I think that's optimistic. I I think that's that's a fair statement. Uh, what do we want to do with the ENH? Um, okay, so the ENH, L and E. There's that. I, I don't. Uh, I don't think it matters. You know what? Um, the ENA, you know what? It matters right now. does matter now so I think I will go ahead and upgrade Ely yeah. and do we chicken for that no no that doesn't that I don't like that one um, again what helps me Think keeping it up north? I think so. We'll, we'll do that. All right, there. Uh, the three is going to run its home. So that is. One, two. Oh, no. It, it, uh, there, there, there. There it is. Uh, it says route's not connected. Wait, what? Hold on, E and H. It is a three F. One, two. Yeah, that should be good. What am I missing? What are you trying to run? Um, from maybe maybe you I'm. You can't run to... through Downham. Huh? You can't run through Downham. Oh, okay. Downham. Hold on. Down. I, I need to undo that. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, that's what it was. Okay. So there we go. There's the upgrade undone. Okay. Apologies. Uh, so Donham is going to get upgraded. And you know what? That might matter. We'll go there. Now, now, it's the, it really does not like auto doing it. One, two, three. There you go. 210. That seems good. So 210, that makes it 250. I think we just go ahead and pay it, right? Because the ENH going up, yeah, we're going to pay it. So we will pay it. And now we will acquire. And so the home of the LNE or the home of the ENH? Does it matter? I currently have a 6F, so the L and E, so I need a 7, right? We established 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have a 6. That's unfortunate. There is nothing I can do. So we will go ahead and keep the E and H. And that's me. Done. And now if you look, now that I've merged, uh, we look at the value. And somehow I am still in the lead, which I don't believe that. But you're still, but you're much closer. You were like 1,200 before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. 
I am going to lay track and I'm going to upgrade. I don't care what I don't I don't care what Martin says, that is called Felix Stowe. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that and uh, put a token on it. And then I am going to run from Oh, uh, I messed up. I should have run to the west. That would have been an extra twenty. Oops. Oh well. I'm gonna run from the water to London. Which should give me a fair bit of money. 420. That seems all right. Uh, and that gives me just enough to buy. Now here's the problem. A 7F doesn't help me. I need an 8F. Well, then you can wait. So I can wait, or I can buy a 5E now and hope that I magically get 800 bucks in the future. I'm going to hope I can magically get 800 bucks in the future. 5e. Uh, so we are now in phase F. And I pass, and it is Alyssa's turn. It is Alyssa's turn. We are not merging. We are going to run some track. What are we going to run? Two. One, two, three, four, probably. Upgrade Harwich, Broken Harwich, and run the four express. One, two, three, four. It's very sad that we got kicked out of London, but I just could not get connected in time. Um, And we will rust everybody sees with hold by E five L and done. And not redeemed. Morning. Okay. And we're now well, in now in phase or no, no that was already an F. Okay, so I'm not uh, doing any merging for obvious reasons. I have my eight trains with a couple of runs on them. So the question is, what do I want to upgrade? I can go all the way to London at the moment. There's no tokens in my way. But tokens could appear in my way at various places. I, don't, I can't... How many token, tokens can you place? Just one per turn, something like Correct. that? Your home and one more or just one after that. Yes. Right. I don't need to token Cambridge. May, may want to token... Well, there's only me and Edward operating on, on our little track at the moment. So Currently, there's not that really is anywhere. Hmm? You're, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. I could... Uh, well, upgrading a town doesn't really help me because I'm Correct. operating freight. So it's a freight run anyway. So I don't think there's any track thing or tokening I want to do. The other thing to keep in mind is you could go out northeast to Swatham and fucking them. Faking them? Faking them. Okay. Uh, in case you want access to those companies during stock round, I don't know. And support. Actually, since I might as well, it's a kind of one of those. It's not going to do me any harm, so maybe I will at least take, do that, and head in the direction of faking them. Actually, I can go all the way to faking them, right? Because. Mm -hmm. The other thing to keep in mind is you could upgrade King's Lynn, which I don't know that you want to, but um, which would give it a leg. That connects into Whiz Beach. I don't 
think you need that. Yeah. But oh yeah, I, th I don't think I need it. But I, 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 I kind of be assuming it was there for a while. Of course, you have to would actually have to do it. No, I think I, I think I'll do. I'll do this and see what happens. I'm not really quite sure what I'm doing with this, but I'll put it down anyway. Um, yeah, I think I'll skip tokening. Don't think I want a token anywhere. Uh, the, 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 the case for it, I guess, would be if you were to token uh, down a market is because theoretically the other side of the board all the other people could connect norwich up around wells uh next the, to the sea and then theoretically come in and token down a market yeah that is true it might not matter because again then you could upgrade king's lynn Exactly, and go through Whiz Beach. But right. I'd, I'd lose so. the connection to Ely, but then they could token Ely, so... Yeah. And then I've, all, I've also got to bear in mind that I need access to London, and that would argue that I have to keep a token spare in case I need to do something with Bishop Stortford, but... And you have two tokens left. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, the other. Well, I'm going to hold on. Okay. I'm going to hold on to the token, see what happens. I don't have a really good argument. So I am going to now prepare. No, I'll attempt. I won't attempt to auto this. I imagine it would drive it bonkers. So I will set the route in. How's this go? One. Two, one, one. Start with the port and then work your way, follow the route all the way down to London. Yeah, it's got to get, make sure I know which one I'm clicking. Everybody out oh. there still enjoying it? Still, still with us? Come on. Trying to click the right I'm, thing I'm here. I'm barely hanging on, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. What's it? Why is it not doing what I think it should be doing? Oh, make sure you're connecting one, two, three. And one, two, three. There. And then the five is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. It's just not responding to my click, it seems. Yeah, sometimes it's a little oh. wonky. I've got it. One. I keep getting that one, and then I'm not able to get the next one. Sometimes you sometimes you want to clear the train and try it again. Right, or click the city, not the edge, or maybe you click the edge with freights. Like, where you click in the hex sometimes matters. Yeah. Doing my best here. Not to... Oh. It, oh, that, got, it, that worked. There you go. Okay. Should be running for 480. Okay, yep. Yeah. And submit for already. Um, and yes, I guess I pay out. I'm going to... Yeah, because withholding won't do enough. I'll only get up to five, six... Six, ten, you're 90 bucks short. Yep. 90 bucks short of being able to buy a permanent right off that. So I might as well pay out and... I've got to do an emergency... We're going to have to emergency buy a one anyway, but I think I'll be okay with that. Okay. Pass. That's me done. No, now, right. just to be clear, Martin, there's no emergency buy. It, oh, you will, you, you, oh. If you If your company has shares in the treasury, um, it will issue them. And if it doesn't, then your shares will get cut in half and it'll get its par value over again in cash. And the... Oh, so you're basically... So you're saying I should try and um, withhold so that I can buy the train. Okay. Because so I can't... I won't come out of the president. They okay, have sorry. I'm completely you would still that. be able to be president because you'd have two and a half and you'd be able to buy the third. 
But a major yeah, but it, but doesn't it sound like you. a good thing. So yeah. you may want to undo that? Yeah, I am undoing that. I okay. Sorry, I, I thought it operated the way that 18xx normally operates it. If you haven't got enough money, the president has to pay. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't work like that. It okay. does not. Um, withhold it is then. And then you withhold next turn and you're going to get an H. Okay. Or and you, could, you won't be trainless. What do you pay out? You pay out 48 a share? So no. I was yeah. going to say maybe you could redeem and make some money, but probably not. Probably yeah. not enough. Yep. There are so many things in 1862 that are non-traditional non-traditional yeah but who wants to play the same okay. game over and over again right all right so oh it's me uh all right so how much do we have let's look at the spreadsheet here um felix apparently is killing everybody yeah as usual um so i have 190 cash My company. No. Uh, do you and me I, both, sir. Do I? So, uh, <sighs> to be clear, you need 700 if you're buying a train or 800 if you're buying another train later. 800. That's a big number. Um, yeah. So it looks like the LNH is going to buy the G. Looking at the values there. I can't foresee. I guess I could sell shares, but do I don't think I want to. Given the position of the E and H, I, do, I just don't think I want to. And what did we run for most recently? Um, that's a little skewy, so not great. Uh, no, we're going to pass in the parliament round. Felix? Yeah, so that's a good question. I could try to grab something, but I have so little money. I could par at a at hundred. Um, and then merge it in, but will that pay out? Probably not. Also, it's tough to afford an H with a parliament company. Like, you have to get a part yeah. of, yeah, that's part of a thousand and, and not spend any other money cash anywhere. <laughs> I choose to pass. All right, I have no cash at all. So we're in the stock round now. We are in the stock round. I can get an L and H. Is it worth getting an L and H? Yeah, look who's running L and H. I wouldn't uh, wouldn't trust that stock with a ten foot pole. So it's going to purchase a eight. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean it's going to run for four eighty, but it's only going to pay out four times. True. We have to be clear. We have six ORs left. Yes, two sets of yeah. ORs, and that's it. So it's going to withhold. Oh, no, I guess it'll pay out five times because it's going to withhold and then buy the eight. And then it pays out five times. Yeah. Yep. And then it pays out five times. 480. And those that'll be a quad jump and a few triple jumps. Yeah, you know what, Martin? I'll get on board. Oh, God. Got more faith than I have. All right, I could join on the Martin Parade, or I can get in on the EUR. 
Um, I guess you couldn't have afforded your own EUR. Don't like to see you divesting. Let's see, local and express, you've got both. Sure, let's let's see what the EU let's see what the EUR is gonna do. With with any luck I will also pay out five times. With two with two permits. Fingers crossed. I mean All right, Martin. Well I would love to buy a share, but I'm three bucks short. Which is rather sad. So 107, what can you buy? Oh, nothing. nothing. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. The cheapest company is 110. That's why yep. I said I'm three bucks short. Yep. <laughs> um, this might be dumb, but the FDR has got two fives, and it didn't run the second five. Oh, okay, I'm saying five permanents is what I mean. I'm, I'm, I have faith. I'm... You got faith in me, Edward? I Can do. I get that in writing? Um, there you go. I Literally, it says right there, Edward has faith in James. That's literally what it says. I will do my utmost to let you down. I have no doubt. So, I can buy an ESR, which is nice. Uh, and if I buy an ESR, I can only buy... Oh, I can you buy it. Okay. I could buy an ESR and an FDR, and that's exactly, that would be clean living, if my math is right. The question here is, do I buy the treasury or the market? Uh, and I think I'm going to buy the market, because if I did the math right, and I withhold next round, I'm going to get about $700, and I, or 700 pounds, and I only need 700 pounds because I'm the first person to run. So I can buy that beautiful G train instead of the H train. So I'm going to buy a single market share instead of the treasury share. It doesn't awesome. matter if you withhold, right? Which one you buy. But that means that in the future, the it, it keeps accumulating money. Well, sure. So if I could get a third permanent, that'd be great. James. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I pass. James. Oh, Martin. Sorry. Pass. Felix. Okay, and I have exactly 134. And there is one company is 134, and it is run by a very competent gentleman. So <laughs> I am buying that. I'm just wondering how many more times I can withhold. I don't know what you're all jumping on my <laughs> bandwagon for. And then I... Oh, everybody auto-passed, it looks like? Waiting so on you. ESR. ESR right. will not merge. And ESR will... Uh, place that tile in Cromer and place this tile in Dis and then I will token Cromer uh, and then the 5 so I, the 5F is going to do what it's doing and the 5E is going to come over this way down it's going to start in Harwich um, and sort of share track so I can get both ends. Uh, get Bury St. Edmunds. Well, I have to click three times for that. And uh, I have one more, so I might as well go to Newmarket. Mm hmm. Wait, that is 670. Did I do the. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, but I thought I counted. Oh, it took away the. Uh... Wait, we've got that. One, two, three, four, five. Seven seventy. There we go. Pay that out. I withhold it, even though it's a quad jump. <laughs> but it's gonna be another quad jump in the future, and I buy the 8F. 
Okay. And that's phase G. And then as soon as Martin goes and withholds, that is going to trigger the alien ER because that will be the first H. So, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, let me see. This is the ENH. And so that's, I have a six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, which is that one. Oh, that, that's crushing. Oh, better yet. One, two, three, four, five. I guess it's running as a five, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Needs to be a seven to go that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to go that way. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so hold on. I don't know if that's worth it. Um, I think I will upgrade March there and then token. No, 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 no. Uh, just in case, sure. And then the six will run one, two, three, four, five, six. Yuck. 340. That's gross. That's turbid. So that is 520 if I withhold. So I could withhold, withhold, and then get an eight. Is it worth it? I think so. So I will withhold. Okay, done. That hurt. Okay. Uh, redeem a share. Let me see. Um, I three eight. Nope. And pass. James, go. So is it crazy for me to withhold for? A third permanent? No. No. The three permanents okay. is usually the winning move. Alright, well let's see if I can pull it Clearly off. Clearly so I bought the I... wrong company then. What am I doing with my track? Um What am I doing with my track? Why can't I uh Tokens. Ha <laughs> ha Tokens. Okay. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. How do I bust out? You want to walk folks through while you're doing sure so the challenge is the two trains i already have basically cover all of the hexes i already have access to so if i'm gonna get a third train it's gotta go somewhere new which means i've got to get out of my little southern bubble and i'm tokened out of thereford so and i mean uh, and there's a wall for Eli and Cambridge. So I either need to try to bust through to the east, or I need to make another a path around Thereford, or I just upgrade one of the cities that I'm going to count. Um, you, you can get out of the south by up by upgrading Framling, Framlingham. Yeah. Yep. And then make a run towards the water. That. That seems that seems reasonable. Mad City so said there's nowhere to go with three permanents, though. Oh, uh, but I 
No, I, a third freight runs from Colchester to the ocean. Uh, although I've already counted Colchester. Oh, wait, where's, how do I, how do I hit X? If you upgrade Framlingham, though, you could go Norwich to the ocean. Yeah. Norwich. Norwich to the ocean. With the ADEF. There's a lot of options if you upgrade there, because remember, you can always share track. So, and, right. after, and, right. a, and our freight's only counting the ends. Yeah. All right. Well, let's just let's put it there uh, to see. All right. So with my Is freight, there straight? yeah. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you just connect no, no, it straight it up towards this. this? Oh wait, was that open? Yeah. Oh, it is open. Oh, that dit somehow blocked my vision. Oh. I think there's a bow and arrow in this. There's that. Yeah. Yeah, there is. They just don't yeah. intersect. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Bravingham just got moved a little bit to the west. Yes. <laughs> just we just moved the town, make room for the highway. That's fine. Mm. All right. So that does that, and then this one is you, 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 you. That, that's a lot of sheep. It's a lot of ewes. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Yeah, 720. I think that's what I had calculated. All right. So let's submit that. Withhold that. Oh, okay. It's only withholding once and then getting a nine for eight. Yeah, I support this yeah. as an investor. I'm fine with that. Yeah, that seems like a give me. Yeah, only re withholding once. Yeah. And if you got the money to redeem it, there's no way you're going to get a fourth train. So, yeah. Yeah, well, what's interesting is with Priority Deal, Alyssa can buy one and then I could buy one. So if I redeem, I won't get to buy it, right? Because the company will have it. So, and I don't need the company to make any more money. So I'm thinking I don't redeem oh. it so I can buy it. Does that make sense? I think when you redeem it, you can still buy it. Yeah, I was going to say, you can buy it from the company, yes. Oh, okay, thank you. I keep forgetting that. Uh, no acquisitions. All right, Alyssa. Uh, no merger. Um, I think we... Everybody at home still digging it? Upgrading... Colchester. We have our first russet. I think the 4E runs that in it. Uh, this now. And then the 5L will run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. Good old 5 plus 5. Let's me withhold. And that's an H. And that gets me a 6E, which will replace the 4E that's about to go away. And no acquire. Martin. No merge. So I have to, since Edward put a token on Bishop Stortford. I have to upgrade it. I, I honestly, it wasn't trying to be mean to you. It was just okay. This is the only place I, I maybe. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I didn't get caught out. That's all. That's all that was. Yep, yep. I'm believing you. <laughs> it's true. I've been doing nothing but helping you all night. That's true. I'll agree with you on that. You, you just had to pick the, the just the right moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been biding my time, right? Yes, you can uh, found me love a token in there anyway. <laughs> and it's the same revenue route, so I just do the same thing again. 
And sadly, I have to withhold again because um, I need, yep. uh, need. This is my last run on this trains. But now I can spend eight hundred bucks to buy a nine F if I wanted it, or I could get a six E. Um, am I going to get a better run than that four eighty run now? That's oh god! I'm going to have to. Uh, do I want to have to try and figure uh, that out? Hold on. So two two ninety. You can't 340. Do red, remember. Yeah, 340 so. and 80. 420, I see, London to King's Lynn. Right. One, I two, think. three, four, five, six. Yeah. I think that's probably your best. I oh, mean, it'll, it'll, the freight's probably better just I, given the lack of russets on the board. Yeah, I think, I think yep. the freight is the right answer. Yep. Seems to be a reasonable because you can't one. keep laying. This is these are the last rounds we'll be able to lay track, so you're only going to get two more track lays. So I don't know that you can get enough rusted out to make your make the difference. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We are done. Oh, redeem. I could redeem a share. What What would that do for me? It gets money into the company, which is a cow's opinion at this point. Well, it gets money exactly. out of the company now. It'll move. It'll take a hundred dollars and put the share into the company. Oh, but it, right then the company pays out, so it doesn't really matter. It, 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 it's moot. It's completely yeah. moot at this point. Right. Okay, I'll skip then. All right, round two of three. Okay, I have five trains here. So for um, what it's worth, Martin, yours and my game is effectively over at this point because all we're going to do is just run our route and then that's it like yep so i have five trains but one of them is permanently going to go away the question is do i withhold this time to get a third train again so it'll be two f's two like a nine f and an eight f but the eight f won't really have a red location to go oh, i don't know if it's worth it um, regardless, I think upgrading, oh, I got to make that decision now because if I run, I mean, I could run a Wells to the, next to the C freight train and a Cromer freight train and it would make, you know, a fair bit of money. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, 7, 20, 210, 310 or so, but I would do that five times would be 1,500 total. But I don't, I'll be right I don't back. Know, I don't know if it's worth it. This is, oh, oh, I, I can't even do that. It had to be from Great Yarmouth anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's only six. You know what? I'm not going to think this through. I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and keep the pace going so uh let me clear the 5f for a second um so the 8f is going to go down this way like that uh so it, i'm going from cromer to london crossing the whole map and then the Felix though is going to jump up, same track essentially, towards Norwich. Why is that invalid? Non-permanent trains must connect to permanent trains. Right. All right, it's a 13 train. It's a 13 train. So it's useless. Um. Well, that's too bad. I mean, can you... You could upgrade Cromer so that you could run the port to London, I guess, as a freight? What, what do you mean, the port to London? If I'm, you upgrade... I'm, oh, no, your, your port's better. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, I think it just gets thrown out. Yeah. I mean, I'm out, so... So... It is 900 though, so I can still withhold and get another one. And yep. I'm, I'm, I'll be making 900, and if I withhold again, 
if I withhold again, I'll be making um, probably another, you know, a similar kind of money. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So Norwich or in the Cromer or starting Great Yarmouth. Oh my! I, 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 the reason I don't want to withhold for this, I have reasons. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay it up. Okay. Uh, pass. All right. So I just ran my trains and I paid them out and I redeemed a share. So I am running the same thing. I, it's going to be another freight. So there's that running to that and possibly that. So I will lay that there. Fine. Good. Done. Uh, done with track. It's going to be the same. Submit, withhold, by that. Done. James, go. Cock a uh, I think I want to go this way because that port is a little better. And then. You are going to be so. All right, is it doing the right thing with the express here? So, how do I know? It puts little brackets around. All right, so D11, which is Sudbury, is bracketed in the 4-5, which means it's not counted, and it's non-bracketed in the other one, which means it is counted. So everybody's counted. Great. Honestly, Let's... I mean, is it, is it, is it <laughs> Bury? Uh, no, you're already counting that. I think it, I mean, is it Thetford to the coast? Uh, who to the coast? Am I? No, it's Sudbury to the coast. That's farther away. Oh, but it's as the crow flies. Right, but that's still five versus Thurford. Oh, fair point. Yeah, fair. Okay. All right. Do it. Uh, right, and this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that's too many. All right, a thousand I'll have to do. Pay it out. No merger. Um, let's upgrade Norwich. Clear all. I think the six E goes one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Four E goes two, three, four. And the five L goes one. And Martin, just, just, you're on deck. Although, let's face yep. it, yours and mine, like I said, pretty simple at this oh, point. I, I can't. I'm still seeing. Oh, it's still Alyssa. Really? I'm just getting you. Yep. There you go. It, momentarily. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I, I realize. Yeah, I was going up. Yep. You're up. I'll be right That's it. Pass. Uh. 
Well, I might as well upgrade King's Lynn. What the hell? I hear it's, it's beautiful this time of year. <laughs> Isn't, yeah, well, maybe. If you're <laughs> in, into that kind of thing. <laughs> Plop a token in March just in case, because that's my last token. Make sure the route's all tokened. Sure. But, uh, still not that great. And then, yeah, then... Um, do I risk an auto on it? Probably not. Uh, I mean, it, it should work, but theoretically. I mean, it's... It's from Port to London. Yep. Where's yep. the home for LNH? Oh, it's there. Never mind. Never mind. I'm clickety clicketing and it's not doing anything again. Come on. It's that same, that's that Royalston hex. It just refuses to click on it. Oh, no. Oh, I see. I've got to click on the next one. Oh, God. One. Not quite sure what's going on there. And then submit for 480. But this time, pay out. Hey! Skip trains and skip any redemptions. And pass history. That's it. All right. ESR, okay. go. ESR. Uh, ESR, this is the last chance to lay track. Yeah, this, uh, is, this, this is lane track in tokens. This is the very last of it for the remainder of the game. I'm gonna, I don't, I wanna, I wanna connect something, but I don't think I can. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight comes into new market. I think that's the best I can do. I don't think I can connect anything else. So, uh, I'm just gonna upgrade, uh, uh, Harwich? Um, and I'm gonna run the same run I ran before for one extra, nine, ten, pay it out. Skip trains, that'll come later. I could redeem again, but I don't want to. Pass. James, you're up. I don't want to acquire anything. My final track or upgrade feels like Bury St. Edmunds to Russet. I mean, it's 10, like any of the Russet in. Yeah, Bury to 10, New Market to 10, Sudbury to Green. It's all 10, and I feel like Sudbury is probably helping everybody else less. I don't even know. I guess okay. I could click through and see what people are doing, but I'm not going to bother. I'll just do Sudbury. Uh righty and i think we'll just think it's still that's still the best so let's just is ship it. pretty solid and pay it and not merge you are you're up yep no merge is there something i can do track wise Norwich is an extra 20. Barry is an extra 10, but gets me a connection. I don't think I need it. I might regret that, but... This port's still better. I think this is still the best, so I'll just take it. Same route as before. Pay it out. 
Um, not acquiring anything. And Martin, you're up. Martin. Indeed. Um, I don't know if there's any track worth doing. So I'll just do that. Submit the 480. Pay out. And click me, click through all these remaining things. And for me, for me, I have uh, it. Sh the, the 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 track doesn't matter. Um, but the, so the six F, well, is going to actually. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. And then the nine F is coming from up north. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, 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 nine, ten. There we go. Eight eighty. Pay it out. Pass. All right, stock round. Uh, so going into the final round, uh, it is neck and neck. Well, sort of. I mean. Felix has got this locked up, but James is right on his tail, it looks like. And then everybody else. So, buy your shares. Oh, and cash. Yeah. How much cash does everybody have? Um, yeah, so buy a bunch of shares. The thing that ran right. for the most is the FDR. Then right. second was the ENH. Sorry, no, the ESR, then the ENH. Then the EUR and the LNH. Right. So, the cert limit reset, right? Right. The cert limits fell down to seven because we, mm. the, mm -hmm. because uh, um, Felix has seven shares and he was the most after all the mergers. So the cert limit is seven. So, so you can buy two if you're three. Felix, four if you're Martin, everybody three. else is three. Three. I can buy three. Two. Oh wait, no, I can. Yeah, you have no. two. You have five three. certs. Have it's on. It's on the screen. I, I was. I was looking at Sir Felix Cat. No. Um, James, <laughs> I, bought, I bought an FDR. Uh, I think that's a good uh, investment. I think I'll join you. Thing uh, ten sixty, and it might get another train. Seems like a good thing. Oh my gosh. What's it going to do with that train? I guess that's a tomorrow problem. I was going to say, just buy the share. <laughs> Martin? Uh, what's left? There's no FDRs left. ESR and ENH is what is making the most next in that order. ESR is 330. ENH is only 182. Because so the thing is, if I get a... Uh, if I get an ESR, can I also get an ENH? Before 331, 182 is... Yeah, I should... Yeah, I think so. I can do that. Probably better to do that than get multiple... Try and see... Oh, I'm not going to do the, the math. I'll just get an ESR. Uh, market or treasure? I have no idea. I'll just get... I'll go with a market. Okay, oh, done. I will buy mine. Done. Felix. So my options are buy my own from the treasury because now it has a lot of money. You think yours is better than Edwards? Edwards is going to Edwards is going to triple jump, but but he's going to get another train. Yeah. Good point. Uh, I forgot oh, about that. Oh right, those. James. How does the ESR have so much money? They have all the money in its treasury, and when you buy from the treasury, it it goes to the company. Because these these are all merged, so they're all non-chartered. Wow. <laughs> it might it might get two more trades. I don't know. I'm gonna run two more trades, but <laughs> you gotta look at this map and figure this out. But yes, it might. The fact that the left is not connected at all doesn't help. 
Yeah, we did ourselves no favors with this map. Felix? Well, okay, so ESR is gone. Uh, that's too bad. FDR is gone. We've got EUR, which went for 700, so clearly the right answer now is EH. ENH. Did I hear someone say ENH? I can't afford to buy anything anymore. Oh, it's sold out. Uh, okay, so next would be the EUR, I guess. You can't afford anything. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then I guess we will just pass. All right, Felix. I mean, I guess unless you want to adjust your holdings, but... No. Auto pass. I am also auto passing. James. James is in certain limits, so he cannot. All right, now notice it just skipped straight to running routes. That's it. You can buy trains and you can run routes. That's it. Felix. Right. So, so I know I know this is the right route. Uh, and I'll pay it out. Now, I know I can buy a 9F and that'll run southwards. Um, the question Jay. is... You can only buy one train. What? What is? What did you pass again? No, I didn't pass. What happened? He he bought a train. Why couldn't he buy a second one? He I... had the cash. Oh. I didn't do that. Undo. Undo. What what what's the train limit? Oh yeah, yeah, you're there's you're at the train limit. There's three. No, but I should I should be able to buy it's three total? Three total. In H it's three total. Oh no. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah you James, cannot have you're up. you cannot have four. <laughs> you can't have four permanents. But I want four permanents. <laughs> it would have been fun. Oh, I guess I don't have to worry about a new train either. Um no, you so do not. I think then I think it's just auto, isn't it? Yes. Uh, <laughs> give me a second. Uh You are? Yep. Um, I think this stays best, so we'll just... Oh, do I get a third permanent and run twice for that? Probably. Hold. There we get a 60. Martin? If you don't, just keep on with the route. Payout. Get redemptions. And we're done. Yeah, no, we're just going to pay it. All right. Back to Felix. Okay. I just have to figure out how I'm... I need a second to figure out what my... You can't just clear all auto and have it take care of it for you? It's not smart enough to do it at this uh, level. So I can do that for the 5E and then the 9F. So I'm, I'm, I'm refidgeting it. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to make the 9 train come down from Harwich, which means that my 5E has to come from Felixstowe. So that's 3.30, no, that's the best, 3.30, and then my 9F just does 3.30, and I've got one, 119, mm -hmm. and we can auto that forever. FDR? Yeah, you know, I think I should have done something different, but it's way too late for that now.
LNH. Thank you. Click, click, click. And Alyssa. Yep. With her shiny new final new train. Yeah, that probably wasn't worth it unless I... Hold on. Sorry, had to figure out the new train. And then this can run one, two, three. Hmm. There we go. Eight forty. That's an improvement. Considerable. All right, very last one. I just hit submit. Yep. Should everybody should just be doing that at this point? Yep. And Martin. Clicking. I think we broke the bank. There we go. Okay. So then it goes through. Game over. Felix wins 10,119. James, 8,964. Uh, mediocre teacher, 7,056. Alyssa, 6,197. And Martin, thank you for playing. All right. So with all that said, um, that's 62. So start with Martin here. Um, that was a lot. But what'd you think? Well, as you say, and it's quite a lot of a game. Um, what do I think of it? Um, it would probably need a few more plays for me to really get the hang of what I'm doing with it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I want to invest that time. Um, I definitely lost engagement towards the end of the game. I was just kind of clicking buttons. Um, I don't know. I, I just felt, uh, yeah, not not terribly warm about it. I'm afraid. Is it the game or the interface? Um, I think it's more the game than the interface. I, I, I mean, I can't imagine it would have been. I would have felt any happier with it had we played on cardboard. Okay. Fair enough. What about the rest of y'all? James, you had the biggest improvement. Well, yeah, as I said halfway through the game, I'm thrilled to have navigated the train rush somewhat for the first time. No emergency purchase, got a local. I ticked a lot of boxes I want to. It was a lot of fun, but I just, Felix, my goodness, like your first company, Alyssa blocked you, garbage, like, and just out of nowhere, just boom. Super impressive. But yeah, I, I I really like it. And just how different it is each time based on which companies come out, in what order, and get which permanents. The fact that all those locals were in the bottom. Like the shape of this map is different every time, which is a lot of fun. And it's very different at four and at five. I, I think it's great. Yeah, I love that the map is completely different every time I play it because of the way the mm. what companies come out in what order and the the what company what permits each company gets, which all that's random. And the four companies that are removed from the game as well, which is also random. So there is it I, I love that there is not a oh, you should be laying this track this way. Right. Yeah, no, I mean, this is my, this is my favorite 18xx, it's, and it's not, you know, particularly close. Um, and the big thing, it, the big, like, the difference between the four and five player game is just, is crazy, because the four player game, everybody's pretty much starts two companies, 
at the start. You get you're basically setting up for early merges. Can you can you merge in round two or three to get the get your permanents? And in the five player game, you can't do that, and so you have to scratch and claw to be able to buy that second company in time to be able to merge and not suffer from a you know a refinancing because refinancing is just is is just devastating usually um and so uh, like like i said during the game it goes from 1 to 8 you can, it is very different in every player count um and it, it, but it's also very feasible at every player count it is it is incredibly tight on the map i've played it eight players on here i don't think i'd want to play eight players in person oh god no um, but but on on here you could play an eight player game it and it's very different um, but it's it, but it's a good time. Well, now that Heavy Con's five days, I could make a case for maybe, maybe doing it in person. Eight we w we wouldn't know that because somebody hasn't sent out the yeah, information. Well, hey, it, somebody <laughs> just got it yesterday, and I've been uh, yeah yesterday. So anyway, I've been busy with anyway. So Felix, um, how about you? Uh, to say the same thing, Alyssa said this is also my favorite eighteen XS game, and it is also not particularly close. Uh, I mean, I, there's there's quite a number of 18x titles that I that I love, but this, I just go back to this one. It's it's really, you, you know, it, it's kind of amazing. And I think James just went went, went through that whole process in, in 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 three games where you're like, oh, like like my first game, I was like, these freight trains are totally op. That's all the only way to win. Then for a while I was uh, so then then I discovered locals and then I was the locals are totally OP. They're not. Nothing's OP. This is so well designed. You you have to look for value and value goes everywhere. Like you can play an investment strategy. I mean you can't play just investment. That's a bad idea. But you know I had a bad company here and I made up for it by investing. You can do that. You can do locals and just um um get your money by you put your money in the company uh you can do early mergers to get money that way like there's just so many so many different ways to actually play this and um and in the end the most efficient you are wins and i, I don't know it, it, it's just fantastic and it's such a tiny map it yes is, yeah. <laughs> such a big game for such a tiny map um yeah, and then I and and the chat, uh, Mad City's mentioning there were there were basically no east west routes, right? There was no, mm -hmm. and like there were two very completely independent routes on our map, and that's kind of amazing. Again, I haven't seen that. Now, is that because we play bad, or is that just because that's what the game gave us? I don't know, but it's interesting either way to me. Yeah, I think part of it was the way the locals set up, and mm -hmm. James and I ended up creating a great circle that we didn't want to let you and Martin into token and cause problems for us. So we sort of set up a wall, mm -hmm. and 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 then eventually it wasn't worth it you to spend the time to do two track lays to upgrade both of those to Russet to make that connection, and so it just never happened. Yep, agreed. Agreed. So. Question now, then, for everybody who's playing this, and for those also at home, do you like this? Is this, is this, you know, do you find value in streaming this? Did you all enjoy it? Yeah. Not, not all at once. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I play a lot of 18xx stuff games. Obviously, this is also the only way I get to see you guys now, yes, and, yes, and, yes. and so I, I'm a little biased. I miss you all. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, I play a lot on 18xx stuff games and, and so this is totally reasonable and fun for me. I enjoyed it. Like I, the, the, as I get more comfortable with the interface, it, it feels less, uh, removed, I guess, cause you don't have the physical components and I'm used to being able to look in certain places on, on where things are and so I'm getting more comfortable so I even if my results don't show it I feel like I'm, I'm doing better I'm, I'm understanding better with it being online and this is going to allow us to play titles that 
can't play otherwise, right? Plus, like Alyssa said, we get to hang out with her. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed it. And uh, actually, I mean, as far as I can tell, it's a good interface for 18xx. I mean, it seems solid. It, it works well. I can find my way around it. Um, I've got a big, huge screen at home, so I can have multiple browsers on the tabs at the same time. And it all works pretty nicely. So I think as this kind of interface and a way of working. I mean, I never like online play as much as face-to-face. Uh, -face, but, you know, when you... With people who are a long way away, you play online. And I do that in other times as well. And it's good to do that to hang out with Alyssa. Also, most most 18xx players, no, not not all, but like the most 18xx player, uh, 18, 18xx games players play asynchronously. And I don't find that nearly as much fun as playing synchronously live even if it's 18xx games i still prefer playing actually live better mm -hmm. but uh this is this is still a lot of fun um, yeah i was gonna say the same thing i think a lot of people you know have 20 30 asynchronous games going in parallel and they just gin, 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 shotgun through them all i much prefer mm -hmm. even when it's online like this let's just sit down and finish a game uh just the you know, living in those highs and lows and, and experiencing the through lines. I, I really, I like that in 18xx's and I get that uh, when we, we do this live. And Mad City also points out auto route actually works in basically everything that isn't 62. So yay. All right. I'm excited to try that. I've only played 62 online. So there you go. Cool. Yeah, I have no interest in playing async. I just don't. Um, I can't imagine. Like, I, I would just, I would be completely checked out. Like, it just doesn't, you're trying to keep track of that. But I'm not disparaging those that do. Hey, if you do, it's a great resource. And the price is pretty great. So, all right, that's a wrap. Uh, thank you. A huge thank you to everybody that played tonight. So, I, I appreciate that, um, Martin. Um, that was very brave of you, and I appreciate you uh, you being willing to learn such a complex game and stream this. So I I think you did great. I, I mean, you you have enough experience to where you understand like the concepts aren't foreign to you. So well done to you, and uh, and and yeah, Alyssa, we we miss you and glad glad you could do this. This is awesome. So everybody yeah, that watched fun. really appreciate it. Go ahead. You were saying something? No, I was just saying I had fun. It was yeah. great to see everybody again. Same. Uh, yeah, so that's a wrap. Uh, I We have game day tomorrow, and then uh, I'm supposed to be back on Sunday. We'll see. We'll see. I might need a break. It's been a very long week, but uh, that is Vinos solo on Sunday. And then we got a bunch of stuff coming, Galactic Cruise, on Monday morning, and then other stuff next week. So, uh for the show, I'm Edward. I'm Felix. Alyssa. James. And Martin. All right. Y'all have a good night. Take care. Thanks, everybody. Bye.